it's dog treats. Should I go grab Lego? I'll hold him like a baby. I'll bring him in here and he can have one. There he is. The man of the hour. <laughs> Got treats for you. You like them? Oh, he likes them. You like these treats? Got some more for you. Woo! Party! Oh, shit! 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 <gasps> get him off! Get him off! Get him off! Wait a second. Did you say they were banana flavored? Yeah, they're banana flavored. And I know and, who and, would and like my that. Cat, my cat's name is Banana. Hey, buddy. Want some of these? Yeah, you like that? Good it's stuff. a party in this house. Yeah, it's hey, buddy. Dude, he loves the Minions. He's a big fan of the Minions. Yeah? Yeah. That's why I named him Banana, after the Minions movies. Alright, these are all yours, buddy. Enjoy those, alright? Wait, okay, you got this new fucking device for Banana, which is oh. like, straight out of 2001 A Space Odyssey. Yeah. I like, got... when it's turning, it's like, da, da, da. Yeah, so, um... Da, da. It was expensive. Like, people call me crazy for this. I paid $400 for a litter box. Why $400? Uh, okay, try to... Okay, first of all, I'm not a cat owner. I have a dog. So my Lego doesn't poop inside. Right. Or doesn't do the stuff that Banana's been doing. What has Banana been doing recently? So here's the thing. Banana never had an accident. Like, from the moment I got him as a little kitten... He immediately would know where the litter box is. Even if I moved it to another room, he would never have an accident. He'd go find it and use it, always. So I, I one day, I got sick of the scent of a litter box and clean it up. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try this thing I saw online where you can buy, like, a toilet seat for cats where you gradually, like, make the hole in the middle bigger until they learn to just use the toilet. And it was working. He was using the toilet. He was, he was shitting and pissing in the toilet. I have videos and pictures. You can find them on probably my Instagram or my Twitter way back or something. And it was cool. Like, you gotta admit, you were like, holy shit. One day, Banana was just, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. I'm gonna shit next to the toilet. But I'm still gonna piss in the toilet. I'm just gonna shit next to the toilet. And he'll hide it, like, tr like dragging your t-shirts over and covering up his poop with your t-shirts Yeah, he'd and go towels. in, he'd walk into my room, like, find a t-shirt I'd taken off on the floor, drag it over, and just, like, lay it on top of his feces. Because they like, like burying their shit. Yeah, yeah, and he's like, ah, uh, he won't find it here. And I found it every time, so I... Susie uh, and Aaron were actually the ones that introduced me to this because they have one for their cats. It's a litter box called the Litter Robot. Um, and basically, it's like a big bubble that mm -hmm. they get in, they do their business, and then when they get out, there's like a little pressure plate that senses when they're not in anymore. And the whole thing rotates, and it sifts all the litter out, and then a little, con like a little hatch opens, and all of the you know, like waste from the cat gets dropped into a little compartment with a little bag, and then the door shuts, and it rotates back and fills back up with litter. And then I never have to deal with it or smell it. Like, uh, uh, like once a week, a little light will come on. I open the tray, throw out the bag, and that's it. And it's literally, I, I do not have a lot of money, Ryan. Neither of us have a lot of money. But I think spending $400 on that litter box was 100% worth it. Because in the long run, it saves me a lot of time. It saves my room from smelling like shit. And it saves me a lot of money on litter. So I'm not being paid to say this, but it is an amazing product. Increase the ship's capabilities. So nice. Oh, I was thinking of the weird name. I'm sorry. I was thinking of Ringo. And you confused him with Bono? I just, they're both weird fucking names, and I don't like. Uh -oh. If his name was Steve, I probably would have gotten it right. Steve O? <laughs> like, St I was trying St to think of the weird Steve O one. could have been one of the Beatles. Of course, like, I know, like, John Lennon, Paul McCartney, and all those, but, like, Ringo, like, I was going for the weird one, and I fucked it up. Ringo, Bono, Steve O. <laughs> Bingo Bongo. Bingo Bongo, Ringo Bono, Steve-O. It's like all, all a good band. What would their band be called? If, if Steve-O... Uh... The Knickknacks. Patty Wax. Dude, there's their album cover right there. Give nice. the dog a bone, dude. Give the dog a boner. Nope. <laughs> Lego right. gets boners all oh the time. Oh my god, Ryan's dog gets boners all the he time. He gets so excited. All right, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to line them up over here. Gonna I don't them. give it... I don't... If they're not, like, fueled by yeah. us. Just to specify. Okay. Subway, eat fresh. I understand, like, that would suck to get a bad dog. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know? you're stuck with it. Yeah, I, like I'm it. lucky with Lego. Like, I mean, he, he's a nuisance and he's dumb, so, you know, a lot of the time. I wouldn't say dumb. He's more clumsy than dumb. Yeah, he's really clumsy. He doesn't take in his size into account. Yeah, he thinks that he's a small little puppy. And then he'll, like, jump up on the couch when, yeah. like, six people are on it <laughs> and, like, smack everyone with their tail, with his tail. But but I but I love him. He's a good dog, and I and I think I got lucky with him. But I couldn't imagine getting like a dog. Like if I got Lego and he was just 
constantly like growling and barking at anyone who came near him and like even i and like i was the only one that got to pet him or anything like he oh, would always nip at people that'd like be so bad that'd be horrible Cause you'd also have to be scared that he would like attack a smaller dog or something yeah he, he does would... bark at other dogs yeah he he likes he does like the he goes, oh it scared it his bark is so sharp it's very like annoying it's very jarring when you hear yeah. it's like, ah. like please stop especially if it's like nighttime you're taking him out for a walk and it's all silent and when he just barks and it's like oh oh <laughs> I get mad at him. I'm trying to tell him not to, but he got to beat it out of him, boy. Yeah. Honestly, I don't. You know, banana. Banana's an asshole, but I don't. I don't think he's a bad cat. But I think he does have a lot of uh, asshole tendencies, like knocking. Uh, I don't. He's know. not the best behaved cat. Yeah, but he's he's not. He's not. When a it bad comes to cat, other though. people, I, like I, learning uh, to like getting along with new people. Yeah, he, he gets mean, used to people though. I mean, it's a cat though. They're not always the best with new people. But like, what really pisses me off about banana, I. I I don't know why. If there's an open drink, the fly. what? Nothing. <laughs> if there's an open drink on like a counter or a table, he'll wait until no one's around and he'll knock it off. Yep. Like every time. Like, say there's an open Gatorade bottle, um, he'll knock it off. The other day, I had a um, we went and got lunch at like this healthy place, and I got carrot juice, and I got carrot juice, and like I brought it home, and it was in like a like a closed cup, you know, like a plastic cup with a straw and lid. Yeah. And I had it on the table, and, like, I went in my room, and I came back out, and he had knocked it on the floor. And, like, it's just, the floor is like, orange, and I had to, like, clean it up for, like, 20 minutes to get the orange out. So, Banana, if you're listening to this, you're an asshole. Aw. He's at home right now, just like, <laughs> I was just trying to get your attention. You fucking bastard. I just wanted to He's greasy. I gotta give him a bath. He's yeah. actually getting greasy. Lego's just getting all full, you know? His hair is getting really he's getting, he's getting a little ratty with his hair. Yeah. Got to got to get a pair of shears and just <laughs> Yeah. I need to go take I need to go take him to a uh Petco. Soon. Dude, what I'm saying, we used to do it with my golden. You should get him like not just haircut, you should get him like actually trimmed cuz they're all fuzzy and soft and it's so cute. Yeah. It's not like it's not like buzz cut soft. It's like it's like stuffed like teddy bear soft really? cuz it's still short, yeah. but it's like it's like puffy, kind of like fuzzy, and and ba- they don't shed, and they're all, they're like they don't get hot because of, and God knows our AC breaks every other day at our apartment. Okay, let's give him the goat. You, you so know what fir- to do, Ryan. First, I gotta do this, right? Yeah, yeah. Switch over to that. Speaking of razors, I accidentally um <laughs> shaved a little patch on my cat's back today. Well, it wasn't an accident. I had my razor out, and my cat was near me, and I'm like, I'm just going to touch him with it. So I touched his back with my razor, <laughs> and now he's got a little spot on his back where there's no fur. And I'm oh, scared it'll never grow back the same, and he's always going to look like does that. He gonna, does he hate you for that? No, he doesn't, he doesn't know what happened. He's just dumb. I know, but he's going to die. Story. He's going to die because it's going to get infected, and he refuses to get medical help, so he's People a dumbass. People die all the time. But he's going to die because, because he's being he has weird a about it. Just because he's being weird about it. We're going to give him a round of applause. A send round off. of applause for your vagina, Chris. <laughs> anyway, let's, uh, that, that's all you guys need to know about Chris Chan. Go look up pictures of his uh, of his. That's vagina all they need to know. That's pretty much everything about yeah. him. That's well, all well, he wants to be known for. His vagina, yeah. which is really just a massive gash in his gooch. Yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> that, Ew. That sounds, like a, that sounds like a band, like Gooch Gash. Oh, God damn it. Okay, well, what do you want to talk about? Let's I move don't on. No, just. Sorry, I'm like. I'm visibly, to, visibly yeah, distra- visibly. You're, you're really, you're rubbing your eyes. You're just like, I see I it in your face. I it. It's just. You wanted to see the picture. I know. Well, I showed at you first it, I did it. I'm like, okay, go ahead and show me. And you showed me. I'm like, ew. Yeah, it's fucking gross. Because it's just a wound that needs to be healed. I don't know. It, it kind of does look like a vagina a little bit. No. A little bit. Chris, Chris, uh, <laughs> Oni, Oni agreed. Like open wounds. Yeah. <laughs> like dog mouths. <laughs> like, have you ever seen the side <laughs> of like a mouths. dog's mouth? Yeah, I, I own a dog, Matt. Have you ever looked at his mouth? And I've really, like, yeah, I've looked at my dog's mouth. Have you ever thought that that looks like a vagina? I've never, my penis never thought that because I've never been aroused by it. I'm not it, talking so. about being aroused. I'm talking about your, 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 you know, your conscious mind was like, huh, that has a, a striking resemblance to uh, female genitalia. Some dog gums are like blackish too. Why would that remind Some vaginas you? are blackish. Like a dog's Dude, mouth I don't know goes what's... from like pink, like it just like has a little design, like it's like, like a wavy design of. Black dogs have weird fucking lips and gums though. Dogs yeah. don't have lips. I'm sorry. Dogs have weird gums though. 
Oh yeah, it's like weird. It, like the ridges and stuff. Yeah, it, it psychs me out when I say I don't like it. It's like, ugh, get that away from me. It just if Lego wanted to, he could rip out my throat while I was asleep. Yeah, and and I feel like Banana could honestly. I'm laying in bed. He could sink his 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 teeth into my neck and probably do a little bit of damage. I don't know if he could kill me, but he could do some damage. You know, if Banana were like four times bigger, he'd fucking kill us both. Yeah, he would because he's a fucking cat and he's not domesticated. He's domesticated, just not. You know, it's not deep down in his DNA like it is for Lego. You know, Banana would fucking tear us to shreds and eat us if... But he's so that's sweet. That's like saying... That's like putting, like, a fucking great white shark in a little... Like, just shrinking it and putting it in a fish tank and going, it's domesticated because I can own it and it can't kill me. No, but Banana... Because it's not big enough to dude, murder me. Dude, when he's if not being... Banana be was... It doesn't matter. Any cat, if it was big, is going to murder someone. Yeah, that... Unless they're trained, which Banana isn't trained. Well, he's so sweet though. When he at it's at nighttime, okay. I'll climb into bed, and then usually like thirty seconds of me climbing bed, he'll climb up on my bed. And last night he laid on his back. He like I was basically spooning him, and he's laying on his back with all his paws out in the air, and he was just laying on his back purring, and he was so sweet. And it's like, how could he ever kill anything? But then I know, I, if he were the size of a tiger, he would destroy me. God damn it! All right, now we've got our boy. Yeah, dude, uh, apparently, I think to win this level, first you have to do the loop de loop, then pull. And your shoes are looking cool. Yep. Oh, okay, a loop de loop. Ooh, ooh, ooh yeah, nah, nah. Lego. We got driving. Lego. We got Ryan's dog. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We, we, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah, do that one. We took we took this picture of Ryan's dog where we stretched his face back and pulled his ears behind his head. Pure what animal are some abuse. Other but... poses? Well, we gotta set up obstacles, man. Do we? Yeah. We gotta get speed. Why, what do you mean, do we? That's a that's the, like one of the main draws no, of the not. game. I want to like then pick up speed at the end, and then if we can get there. We have a little surprise. Okay. Now, what vehicle would be best for this? I think pro a bike? Sure, let's try a bike out. Uh, not a mo- uh, nah. Lego, let's try Pink Lightning. It's the tricycle. Oh. Here he is. All right, let's do it. Uh-oh. Here we go. Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh, shit, he's doing it. Oh, nope. No, oh. Uh oh. 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 Oh, shit. Lego. Oh, no. We gotta get him to the vet! Yeah, I, we need a better vehicle. No. No. What is this? No. I'm sure you don't want to try this out? This, this might work. This can't make it. Try it, dude. Let's give it a go. I already know it's not gonna work. I can just tell. Are you sure about that? Oh, <laughs> shit. What the fuck? Lego, no! No, what the? Oh, no. There's, okay. there's Ryan on the side of the truck. <laughs> Sponsored Here by Ryan's go. Trucks. Here we go. There we go. Ooh. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I want him secure in there. He's going to be holding on for dear fucking life. All right, let's do it. Full yeah. speed ahead. Okay. Yes, yes. This is good. Yes, yes, yes. Shit. What the fuck? Holy shit. Lego, okay, I'm maybe, so sorry. Maybe not at... Ow. What maybe, Jesus. It's. I don't, I don't know what the deal is. Is it the steering? Oh, yeah, okay. there we go. That's what I like All right, see. Lego, let's see it. Let's see it, buddy. Make us proud. Yes. 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 yes! Good job! Uh-oh. He did it. <laughs> he did it, dude. Congratulations, Lego. Oh. Yeah, how's Pikmin 2 going for you, by dude, the way? Dude, Pikmin 2 is fantastic. <clears throat> I've been playing it every night in my room on my little GameCube and my little TV I got off eBay. It is such a good game. I love it, and I can't wait to play it on the channel. Because now I'll, like... I'm playing it right now, so when we play it... um probably in early 2017 on our channel um i'll know what to do and i won't be like because see the thing is like i knew what to do in pikmin but it had been so long that i only loosely knew what to do mm -hmm. this one I, i'm hoping to fully know what to do and it's actually the game's a lot bigger than i thought it was so um it'll probably be around the same length as pikmin it's kind of like meeting Ann in person for the first time what a lot bigger than i thought sorry i, I was swallowing loudly so i didn't hear what you your said your mom's fat that's the joke. Ryan. I was saying your mom was fat. <laughs> I have had it with these jokes on these planes. Ah, fuck. I slapped my hand on that book and it hurt very bad. So whoever sent us the book, uh, go ahead and send your complaints over to Matt. He doesn't care about the... Zenobia? Yeah. Her name is Zenobia. Yeah. Her name is Zenobia. <laughs> it's actually a really cool name. It sounds like xenophobia, just with like some syllables cut out. There you go, like, Xenophobia. Like, like someone's scared of aliens? Xenophobia? You know what xenophobia is? No. It's uh it's the fear of of foreign things. It's the fear of you know, other cultures and other people. Uh, oh, oh, okay. So that's why people just... xenomorphs are in uh 
They're in a lot of things. They're yeah. in Space Station 13 too. Very fun game. I don't. They're, what are they originally from though? I think it's Alien. I think those are Xenomorphs. Xeno means uh, Xeno is like the stem for like f- di- uh, different, like far away, other. I don't know something foreign, and then you know phobia, fear, morph. Change in shape. It's like an alien that's like from far away. And do xenomorphs like change shape in the movies or just in whatever they're from? Do they like shape shift? No, fuck. They're they're more into just they're like they're like cats that can spray acid on you, or they're like cats with blood acid. That's how I always pictured them. They're just like they're little ferocious little assholes. Like if they were smaller. (laughs) No, you couldn't even keep them as a pet. They're still assholes. <laughs> well, they they spray acid no matter how big. So, it's just like, oh no, it's fine. He's just he's a he's a tiny little one. Has banana sprayed at all? No, he was uh luckily he was fixed at a young age, so he does not spray. That's good. I had um, a cat spray me once. Oh yeah, gross. I I had a cat um it smells growing weird. up. It smells fucking awful. It doesn't smell like pee pee. No, it's like a it's like a cheesy, disgusting smell. Yeah, it's like um. If they're not fixed before like a certain time, then they they do that, I think. And if they're not fixed at all, they do that. But luckily he was fixed when he was a tiny little kitten, so he doesn't spray, which is the worst. Because I don't know if I've told this story before, but I had a cat that sprayed. Uh, when I was in middle school, I dropped my phone, my cell phone, or I was in like 8th or ninth grade. I dropped my cell phone, uh, my razor actually, underneath um, our kitchen stove, and I bent over to pick it up. My cat just sprayed my hair in my face. Ew. And it was fucking disgusting. Did you throw up? No, I just, I didn't notice for a second. And all of a sudden I was like, oh God, what the fuck? Because like you can't feel it because it's so fine of a mist. Yeah. But you smell it. And then all of a sudden I was like, no, no, no. It's just a little asshole. All right, he's dead now. R.I.P. Sully. I love you. But uh, speaking of cats. Who's I just, dead? My cat Sully. Oh, I thought you were talking about the pilot, dude. R.I.P. Sully died this week. Uh, he crashed a plane again into the Hudson. What a strange coincidence. Yeah, but uh, my cat, um, you know, he's been scratching me a lot. So I, I got these little, like, nail caps. They're like little red rubber. They look like cat claws, but they're made out of rubber and red. I and already put... feel like you're going to get a lot of comments that are just going to be like, oh, boo-hoo. Why? <laughs> That's animal abuse. No, it's not. So these are these little rubber. I'm caps. not telling. I'm not saying it is. I can just. I can just. You know. You know how you can always guess. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like that's animal. No, because I don't want to declaw my cat. So I got these little like rubber caps that you put glue. Like you put like a little glue in there that comes with it, and you stick them on their nails. So now he's got these little caps on his nails, so he can't scratch anything. He and it's funny because he looks like he has like red painted. Like it looks like he got a uh, like a petty a, a mani petty. Yeah. So now he's got these like beautiful little cherry red nails. He hated them at first. He was trying to chew them off, but now he's he's comfortable with them now. He doesn't care. Well, what is it? It would just be a mani. Yeah, I guess, yeah. No, I didn't because put they're... them on his back feet. So it would just be a mani then. Or a petty because he, cats don't have hands. Do you do you see, like when you look at Lego or Banana, do you see like his front paws is his hands and his back is his feet? Like do you see it like that? I definitely, well, yeah, because like. Well, they Lego, are legs. Did They're different. Le- his back legs are different from his front legs. Yes, they're very different. His back legs are like rabbit legs. And then his front legs are just big floppy fucking things. That'll tentacles. Just, yeah. It's just weird how your dog has tentacles. It's the weirdest <laughs> shit. Uh, I went online, printed out some stupid list of 100 questions that we have shortened down to cut out the stupid ones like, are you married? You know, stuff like that. And just, uh, you know, just dumb ones. But, but we are just going to go down this list and just give you guys a better idea of who we are as people. Oh, that's cute. And yeah. you want to start it off? Sure, Ryan. Okay. The person not reading the question answers first. Perfect. Sounds good. Okay. All right, Ryan. The mm-hmm. first stupid question. <coughs> Ready. Do you sleep with your closet doors open or closed? Um, I have to sleep with my closet door open because Legos, that's like Lego's room. That's like his place. That's like his den. All of his like treats and food and like water bowl and food bowl is his all in bear there. cave. Yeah, he's got a nice little fan in there. It's always open for him to come in and out. He's, he used to have a little carpet until he peed all over the place. Did he? Yeah. When did that happen? He, that was in there like last it's because week. because I was at it was like I was at work longer than usual, and it just slipped my mind. I'm an abusive dog owner why, now. Why did why did why do pets like they never want to pee on like hardwood floor? It's always got to be on like soft carpet or a bed or a I'm, couch. I'm glad all I had to do was roll it up and throw it down the chute. That was an old carpet, so I, yeah. I guess so. I, for me, I usually sleep with them closed, but. Same for Ryan, uh, my cat Banana. 
his litter box is in my closet. And if he has to go in the middle of the night, I got to keep that door open. So yeah, I don't hang my clothes up really. So it's just kind of like a free room. See, I do, I do hang my clothes up, like my shirts and everything, because mm-hmm. I don't, I don't put them in a drawer because they get too wrinkled. Yeah, I just dig through them and don't put them back. Interesting. But my problem mm-hmm. is, uh, yeah. Fuck! What was I saying? <laughs> oh no! I, well, I was just gonna say, like, I yes. have not hung them up in the last month because mm. I have been just wearing the same five shirts without washing them. So there's that fun fact. Because I'm a fatty. With yeah. those stretch marks, they go. Go put some coconut oil on that. That's the sound of my stretch marks stretching over time. If if I filmed you for like two years and then sped it up to a two second clip, that's the sound it would make. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that your stomach coming out and then just like <laughs> yeah bouncing like <laughs> <laughs> yeah? I can draw. I can do a sick stomach drop. Yeah, I know you can. You should put it on r slash. Belly drops. I should. I don't know if that's a thing. I should do. I should do it as a joke and put it on. What is it? Tit, tit drop. drop. Yeah. Not that I go on that, but no, should, of course not. You should. Uh, you should do that. In fact, speaking of things that go, sorry. Speaking of things that go, I can't do that fucking sound effect. That was good. Uh, I liked it. I'll be following. You know, banana has discovered. My cat has discovered the little door stopper thing. You know that the little like coil on the wall. Yeah. He's discovered that. And I'll be laying in bed, and I'll be like ninety percent asleep. Do we have those in our rooms? Yeah, we do. I'll I just, be. I just never notice it. Exactly. I'll be ninety percent. I never notice it either until I'm ninety percent asleep, and my cat charges across the room, smacks it with his paw, and it goes, and then runs under your bed. Exactly. Yeah, he does that. So I can't grab him or yell at him or anything because he's he's behind, at the very end of my bed. Thing is, the apartment's all clean now. Oh, it's so clean. It's so, so nice. So like, I don't. He doesn't. He shouldn't have that much stuff to play around with. But I think he just gallops around your room. Yeah. He, what he does is it'll be. Sorry. You are you throwing up? Excuse me. You okay? Mm-hmm. It'll be, I don't know, three, two, anywhere between two and five a.m. or even six, and he will decide that that is the time that he's going to. Um, have his fun and be active. You know he can't he can't do it when I'm not at home because he stays he's at home from probably ten thirty in the morning until you know four five six in the afternoon. So he has all that time home alone, and he can he can play around, he can run around, do but whatever he's got he wants. Peace and quiet. Yeah. So he just he just sleeps then, and then when I get home, that's when he decides I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking go crazy. So, but it's not even right when I get home. It's it's when I turn the lights off and go to bed. And he runs around my room. Every time you get, like, a drink, he somehow gets the bottle cap from the drink, and it makes its way into my room. But, I, like, I throw my drinks away and shit. Like, I don't leave them out. Not anymore. But but a while back, he would—I don't know where—I don't know how he would just get the bottle caps. Because both of us were lazy as fuck and would never take the garbage out. Yeah, but— I, so no, but all but, the trash would collect on the fu- in the fucking kitchen— in the living room. But I don't know how he got the bottle caps off. And he and they would be in my room. And he just, at 5 a.m., he'll be smacking the bottle caps around the floor and chasing them and slamming into walls and stuff. And then you let him out of your room in the middle of the fucking night. And then he comes over, smacks the bottle cap under my door, and then starts <laughs> pawing under my door when I'm trying to sleep. Because I can't, I can't, like, there's nothing that can stop him when he's g- freaking out in the middle of the night. I can spray him with a squirt bottle. Break his paw. I can yell at him. I can take everything away that he plays with, and he'll just start running back and forth. He won't even be playing with anything. He'll charge from one side of my room to the other. And it's super loud, and he'll slam into the wall because he runs so fast, and then he'll run under my bed, or he'll jump up on my windowsill, and then play with the curtains. We just need to lock Lego and him in, like, the living room for, like, a good 30 minutes, have them play together, have Lego annoy him, We should just just make him run around. We should stick him in your little closet area. They'll be more confined, and they can just fucking go crazy and bounce off the walls. Because Lego won't hurt him. No. They they have a good time together. It's funny to watch, actually. If anything, Banana will hurt him. Yeah, (laughs) because, um... They like to play in this way. I, I mean, I guess it's plain, but it's like Banana will be on his back on the ground with all four paws up in the air, and he's staring <laughs> at Lego, and Lego's above him, and Lego will put his entire head in his mouth. <laughs> yeah. Lego will just eat Banana completely. He'll put his whole face and head in his mouth, and Banana will be, like, smacking <laughs> Lego and, and kicking him and stuff, and then they, they just roll around and play like that. And then Banana always hisses and gets mad. And then keeps doing it. But so. just Lego looks like he doesn't understand. He's just like, oh, look at this thing. Yeah, I don't think Lego this does understand. This thing's swatting at me. This thing's having fun. I think Banana likes it because it's the only way he can get his uh, 
His little hunting urges out, maybe. That's yeah. why he plays with the bottle caps. Probably because they're like little little uh, cockroaches. And I don't I don't understand this. I I did a little research online. Still not very clear on it. But you gotta move the mic, Matt. No. I'm moving it. I'm still not very clear on on why they do this, but I've seen a lot of people's cats online do this. Um, banana will get on top of like my dresser or the counter or anything, and he'll look at a bottle or a cup with with a drink in it or deodorant or anything, and he'll just knock it off with his paw and then watch it hit the ground and just stare at it. He'll just he'll sit on top of like the the surface. Knock something off and then just stare down at it like, whoa. Didn't we look it up and it's like they're like interested in like watching things fall and shit? It's like gravity or something. They're, they don't... He does that with everything. You know, it's so fucking like, annoying. I can't get him to stop. I don't know how to make him stop because I read online you can't discipline them for that because they, they don't know what they did wrong. Even if you like punish them right when he knocks something off, he won't understand why he's being punished. So it'll just make him hate me and then start to get mean and bitter and stuff. So... The only solution is not leaving drinks and stuff out, which we both do sometimes. And then I'll hear a big crash, and I'll walk in the room, and then there's water or Gatorade all over the floor. And I'm just like, God damn it, you stupid cat. And I pick him up, and I'll put him in the washing machine and turn it on for a, for a whole cycle just to punish him. What do you think, like, is something that could just... I'm trying to think of just something that'll scare him into submission. We could beat the shit out of him and break his paws. You could just, like, grab him by his two hind legs and start flinging him around. You'll probably hear a few snaps, but he'll... <laughs> throw him across the room. He'll be like, he'll be like one of those balls at the end of a, the string on a paddle. <laughs> we could, uh, just throw him out the window. We don't, we don't live on the first floor, so we can just... Yeah. Cat... How, how, cats can survive a long fall, can't they? Cats can fall from a really... And, and for the, for the dumbasses... No, we're not serious about any of this, but but cats. Oh, yeah, there can... are those stupid people out there. Oh my god, you're actually you're so mean to your cat. You really do that? Oh my god, I have to report this video right now. Yeah, but but cats can fall a really long way and land on their feet. I don't know how they, they 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 take a good shock. They apparently can like their head. If you put a cinder block on it and then step on it, it can like it won't crush. Like their head can thin out to like paper thin. I've I've never heard that one, but uh. Because it isn't true, and if anybody's listening and is stupid enough to actually believe it, then now you know what your, you know, your IQ level is probably nothing to brag about. I mean, well, ours isn't either, but if, if you actually believe that, then there's something you need to go get checked. And you know what, how are you supposed to do any, any work if you don't have a work pass? Come on, dude. Cut out that cough I did. Oh my god. I may, I just passed through. No. No, you fucking asshole. Oh, I'll, I'll just pass through. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Lego? <laughs> oh shit. I'll just pass you through. You took a picture of him. That's hilarious. Oh, holy shit. Yeah, I took the funniest picture of Ryan's dog. Uh, it's, here it is. It's right here. Yeah, it's. It, he just has this look on his face that's just like, I don't even know. It's just funny. Now here's a picture of Ben Franklin. <laughs> and here's a picture of Brendan Fraser. <laughs> My family in Seattle has a cat, and it's a boy, but they just call it a girl for some reason. And it really threw me off, because I, I, I met this cat. His name is Bo. And he's a boy. You know, he's got a little cat penis. And and I, I hung out with him all weekend. He's a super Wait, sweet cat. Cat penis? Yeah. But he uh, he's a boy, but they keep they call him a girl. And they always refer to him as she. And it really threw me off and upset me, because this cat is a boy. And and I'm like, what? why are you calling it a, a girl? It's a boy cat. A lot, a lot of people uh, call banana. Always say she. Well, actually, it's just Tucker. Tucker yeah, has Tucker made that keeps, mistake constantly. Keeps calling banana a girl, and I don't like it because that's my. He doesn't cat. look like a girl. He looks like a teenage boy. Looks like a teenage little. Does Lego look like a little girl? No. People, people just want to call banana a girl because he's a pussy. Get it? Put a put a. a I can't. It's a, no. Please. Okay. Thank you. Um, I just note like Lego's got some long limbs. He has really he, long limbs. He's got a, like he's just a big goofy mess. He doesn't know how to He's he's a tiny he's a he has the mind of a newborn pup, like a very excited pup. Maybe not a newborn. That's cuz then he'd be slimy. Never mind. And he's got the mind of a little puppy in the body of like an adult mentally handicapped dog. <laughs> yeah. And he and he runs around and 
And then he, I mean, he always, he's always slipping and slamming and sliding and falling he's, down. He's splishing. He's splashing. Just freaking around. Yeah. Yeah. But he, um, you know, he always like, I remember that one time I opened, you were out of town. Uh, he was out in the living room with me and I opened your bedroom door to let him back in. And he just somehow tripped on it on his own feet and <laughs> slammed into the ground. And then lo and behold, 20 minutes later, Catherine came up. And and was was chewing me out for that way back when yeah and I'm like what I I we can't... don't get we haven't got one complaint from our new neighbor no not a single one and it's been what like four months yeah because I mean we're we're not loud Catherine just liked to complain a lot I mean we did yell a lot but you can't really hear that you, in the yeah living you can't room. hear that through the floor but she well she wasn't even she didn't complain about the yelling she just complained about Lego it's all yeah. she complained about she, they like, were stomping no one else has ever complained we've had other neighbors they've never complained. I'm sure fifty percent of the apartment complex has dogs. Yeah, and and it's also like the people above me are loud. I just don't I don't care. My girlfriend has a hamster, and when we first got him, he was really mean. And I'd open the cage up to look at him, and he would get he'd like back into a corner, and he'd look at me, and he'd open his mouth and hiss at me. And Their hiss is terrifying. It sounds like a taser. It's like, tss. and then he like he has these big big freaking fangs that are like hanging out of his mouth, and he's salivating, and he wants to wanted to kill me. He said that. He said, "Matt, I want to kill you." <laughs> I'm going to kill you, Matt. That would scare the sh shit out of me, dude. If I opened up the cage and hamster looked at me and was like, "Hey, I'm going to kill you," I'd slam it shut so fast and leave and run out of there. It'd be terrifying. Well, I think if any animal talked, it would be kind of terrifying. Okay, okay. How about this? If if uh, if banana could speak, what's the first thing you think he would say? Fuck you. Yeah. He's because he's, he's or like or like get away. He's mean. If he could talk. If he had like a small vocabulary, it mainly consists of "I'm pissed," um, "fuck off," and "I'm hungry." And leave me alone is pretty much "fuck off." Yeah, and I'm hungry. That's yeah, about it. But uh, when he's hungry, he's he's well, a little baby. He's a big baby when he's hungry. He's so sweet at nighttime. He's so sweet at nighttime. Like as soon as I turn the lights off, he gets in bed. He cuddles up with me, he curls around. He like like lays on his back and he like purrs and. And then you punt him out of your room in the middle of the night sometimes. Because he plays around with <laughs> shit. He plays with bottle caps, and I gotta throw him out of my room, and make him Tucker's problem. Tucker's in the living room sleeping. I gotta <laughs> throw him out there. It's it's funny. Tucker was asleep in the living room the other night. Banana's making a bunch of noise in my room, so I'm like, I'll just well, he's Tucker's problem now. Oh so come I, on! I threw him in the well because like usually when I put him in the living room, he stops. He just goes. No, to bed. he doesn't. You know for a fact he continues that shit. I never hear him out there once I put him out there. But when Tucker Probably was out there, probably because he comes over to fucking my door. He no, starts but, playing with my door. <laughs> well, I put him out there, and I, I he, Tucker's out there peacefully sleeping, and then I just hear like ten minutes later something crash, and I'm like, sorry, Tucker. Ugh. No, this is just not my problem. I can't. There's nothing I can do. It's not my problem. Well, I always put him out in the living room in the middle of the night because it's like... Give him a fucking swirly. Do something. I can't do anything with him because he's so hyper. I Dunk him in the toilet. That'll make him not want to play. Pick him up by his hind legs and stick his head in the toilet. <laughs> yeah. I like that a lot. He'll curl up and like bite into your fucking wrist. Yeah, he, he got me good last night. I was trying he, to cut his nails. He got you pretty deep. Yeah, he did not like it when I was trying to clip his nails. Nope. Not one bit. Well, animals in general don't like being fucked with. No. Like, even Lego, he's, he's, Lego's more of a little bitch boy about it, but he, uh, he doesn't like, you know, his nails getting clipped or, yeah, you know, baths animals and all that shit. Animals just don't like their nails getting clipped at all. It's because they're, figure. it's like, I want to use these to, he, the thing about Lego's nails is that he always steps on my feet and I always wear flip-flops yeah. and he always scratches my goddamn feet. He's got feet. those big heavy feet and those big nails and just... Yeah, he clunks around a lot. He's he's a clunky boy. He's what what are some other words to describe my baby? Um, There's clunky, stupid, dumb, happy. He's very uh He's very gay. Yeah. I I think gay is the perfect word to describe Lego. Lego was gay, yeah. yeah. No, no, I would use that word to describe him too. He's a very gay dog. Like in all aspects of the word, he's gay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did he piss like all over himself last night? Well, that's Tucker's fault because Tucker was giving him a big old hug. That never got cleaned up, did it? Huh? That's no, I cleaned it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I took paper I, towels. I, I just didn't remember. I was like thinking back. I'm like, wait a second. That's still on the carpet, isn't it? Well, he didn't like pee that much on the carpet. He more like kind of piddled a little on his on himself. <laughs> what, is, what if humans got, like when they got excited, they, they would just piddle on themselves? It wasn't excitement. He was anxious because Tucker was holding him in one position and he wanted to move. And he what, got what nervous. What if humans got peed. anxious and they peed a little bit? They, they do. Do they? Do people pee when they get nervous? When they, when I know they it's get... like the goofy cartoon stereotype, like, I peed my pants, but does that actually happen? I don't know. Let me see. When you get scared, do you pee your pants? 
Let's see. I'm going to look that up. Researcher Ryan McGee is on the case. Here we go. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm doing some investigative journalism. Do you pee when nervous? My phone's so small, but I love it. Okay. Anxiety urination. Ooh. <laughs> That's a thing? Is that a Wikipedia article? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's... let's uh... Okay. The need to urinate is one of the strangest anxiety symptoms, and in some cases, in... Uh, yeah, so uh, the answer is yes. I don't really. It's called I mean, the the subtitles in this are fear and urination, causes of frequent anxiety urination. What is the evolutionary... causes of immediate urination from anxiety? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I but, didn't have to but can you agree that LA water doesn't taste good? It doesn't taste bad. It just it just uh, it Ryan, doesn't. You used to say the exact opposite. You used to say it tasted all nasty. People's opinions change, Matt. How did your opinion change on it? How did my opinion change? Because I just didn't mind it as much. It's kind of like maybe you just got used to it. It's kind of like how earlier in life I didn't like candy corn, and now I do. I maybe just, I well, just changed my opinion. You know, you have been living in LA longer than me. Maybe you've just gotten used to it at this point, and I just, I just haven't. Yeah. Also, I do go home. Uh, I go to the other parts of the country more than you, where I drink uh, different water uh, more. Which means that maybe, um, cause you're here a lot, so you've gotten so used to drinking that. Maybe cause I keep going home and I keep tasting South Carolina water and shit. South and I get Carolina used to water again. is fucking good. Right. That's so like, something we will always, like, I will always stand behind <sighs> and say I don't think anything. Dude, Columbia, will be Columbia, water. Columbia has great water. It's it's so like I just, I I just drink it right out of the faucet. So good. My my girlfriend uses a filter and I'll just drink it out of the tap. But may, maybe cause you don't you don't leave L A that often. I do. So yeah. maybe I just drink. Outside water more so my tolerance and in, in getting used to it is much slower than yours Because because you're here with it more so maybe you're just used to it now Yeah, but. and then also just buying bottled waters instead of just refilling water. From yeah, the it is more expensive for sure Definitely more but expensive. I do like having water bottles because just a little, little there's a little container. It's and, in a cup already Yeah, and also a bottle I, I like it in a water bottle because my cat's an asshole and no matter if I if I get a cup of because I need water I'll like by my bed when I when I go to sleep because I wake up thirsty and when I first wake up I like to drink Sorry, a bunch of water. What the fuck? Is that a drawing? Where that you picked up? Yeah, I picked up some chalk. You drawings. picked up a truck? A truck? A truck? A truck? <laughs> um, like when I uh wake up, I like to drink water because it helps me wake up faster. Um, because you like you get dehydrated while you sleep or something. So my cat, if I have a cup, no matter where I put it, I'll wake up and it'll be knocked over and there'll be water everywhere. And for, like last night, I woke up at 5 a.m. as he was knocking my cup of water off the side of my bed, behind my bed, which I then had to get up and clean up water behind my bed, which I also had a bunch of papers and stuff, this which all got night? to, this was at is 5 a.m. Is this when, oh, is this when you like opened the door and slammed it behind him and put him out in the living room for yes, the rest I of did. the night? Yes, I did. Because there's nothing because... out there for him to knock over, so I, I, because he wouldn't stop. Uh, he started like trying to knock other shit over, and he, so I like, I, I moved him, um, to somewhere else in my room, and he started like fucking with shit again. So I was like, banana, I need to get some fucking sleep. You're being an asshole. I'm throwing you out in the living room where you can't knock anything over. Like I don't know what to do in the middle of the night when he's being an asshole. It's like I can't. If I put him in my closet, he'll just meow. meow. Yeah. Meow. So if I put him in the living room, usually he'll like fall meow. asleep within like ten minutes. He'll just relax. Meow. But that's why we gotta make sure there's nothing for him to knock over out in the kitchen. So when there, I throw his ass out, he won't make no mess. There's currently nothing out because I cleaned our whole fucking apartment. And you did. I was out of nice town and, and I got home and I was clean. like, whoa! I got a steamer thing to kind of scrub some shit off the floor. And yeah, you, you've been taking shits on the floor a lot. Yeah. I'm sorry, I don't mean to. It's alright, dude. No worries. You know, you know, I know I love you. It's fine. Oh yeah, there we go. What if it was purple? You know, this Pikmin, this whole Pikmin playthrough could end terribly. Oh yeah, we could we could get the bad ending. That's a very realistic uh, possibility. But you get thirty. It's it's realistic, but not all that probable. <laughs> Lego. I, so that's like the sound that we make for your dog, but he I've never, he never heard him make that sound once. <laughs> no. But that's like the sound that I associate with your dog. Because he just looks like a big stupid goof. Yeah, he looks like he looks like he would make that sound. 
And when you make that sound, his ears perk up, and I think he kind of has a mini, like, anxiety attack. Because, like, he gets all, like, worried. And He's starts... like, oh! Get out of there, boy! What are you doing? <laughs> Get out of there! Come on! No! no! <laughs> but I, I found a website where it's, like, for custom fursuits, and basically you send in, like... Okay, so I shit you not. You have to make, a, like, a cast of your body with, um, like, duct tape. You basically have to make a mold of your body with duct tape, send it into them so they have all your dimensions. How do you want, how do you get the tape off? I, I don't know. You have to draw designs of your first suit and then send it into them and they'll make it for you. But it's like thousands of dollars. But all I'm saying, Ryan, if Super Mega takes off and we start making a little bit of money, mm -hmm. I would love to design first suits and just do a whole video where we make first suits. I want to be a giant frog. <laughs> I want to make. Know? I want to be like a wolf that's like a Confederate flag, <laughs> like a Confederate themed wolf. No, like a Confederate soldier wolf. Like yeah, he's and, wearing the old uniform. Yeah, and he has like a big Confederate flag cape and stuff. <laughs> and we could just do a whole series where we go out in public as these like fursonas we create. No, I'm telling you, you do that one, and I'll just go to Party City and get a gorilla suit. I would love to like go a to a furry convention and just like a onesie gorilla suit. <laughs> You you said that a while back. Yeah, like, that would be great. I just think it's the ultimate haha. -ha. It's just like, oh my god, that's not a real furry suit. That, <laughs> think you get some dirty looks from other furries? I don't care. Yeah, who cares? You guys are dehumanizing furries. They're dehumanizing themselves because they're animals. Wow, that was profoundly deep. What? You're right. They are dehumanizing themselves. I mean, or are they literally? I guess. Or are they just anthropomorphizing and that? I don't know what the words I'm saying are. But. Well, the the drawings that I've seen with furries is that they have like very human-like cocks and vaginas, which animals don't have. If you've ever seen a dog's penis, which Ryan and I happen to be experts on dog penises, because Ryan's dog Lego gets erections more than it just like, looks like a membrane. It's just like a big pink. Like, take a condom, fill it with some strawberry milk, you got a dog dick. I have three yellow Pikmin. No, you know what I'm gonna do? What? To commemorate Lego's life after he's dead, I'm gonna make a fursuit out of him. You're literally just gonna have him, like, skinned, have his organs <laughs> yeah. removed. Yeah. I'm gonna have a fursuit made out of him so I can wear him around. I'll do that with banana and I'll, like, I'll <laughs> stretch- He's so stretched! I'll, I'll stretch him out as much as I can because he's just a tiny little cat. He's getting fat, though. He's a fat fuck. Banana! Catch. <laughs> Bless you, Ryan. Bless you. Ow, is one of those fucking sneezes that like stings your throat? Ooh, that's a, that could be a sign of strep throat, Ryan. No, it was just like the force of it. it, it I hate when you're sick, you got a sore throat and you sneeze, and it's like sandpaper in your throat. It's oh. like, ah, I, I gotta go back to the doctor. I think I have strep throat again. Again? Well, because I took the, I had strep B, it's a type of strep, and apparently I'd had it for like a couple months, so they gave me uh, antibiotics. I took them for 10 days, but then I did the one stupid thing they told me, uh, I ignored the step of throw your toothbrush out afterwards that still has germs on it, forgot about that, kept using my toothbrush, and now my throat's hurting every single day and it's raw again, so I'm like, wow, I probably have strep again. I'm sorry, man. It's okay. I'm sure you're sick of me talking about how much my throat hurts every day. No, 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 just, uh, you know, do something about it, like go see a doctor. Well, I was waiting for Tucker to get out of town. Our friend was staying with us. I didn't want to waste valuable time by, by going to the trying doctor. to treat yourself so you weren't spreading it to either of us. No, strep's only contagious for the first 24 hours you have it. And so if you just got it again, then it was contagious. No, it's I just don't think it ever left my system because I kept using that toothbrush. So you I'm a, dirty I'm a stupid man, stupid idiot, dude. Just dip it in banana's litter box. My throat? Oh, my toothbrush. Yeah, that'll clean it right you off. Wanna, those those cleaning crystals that are in his litter. They, they sanitize your toothbrush. <laughs> which, I don't even rub which, my toothbrush under the sink. I just dip it in the litter box and rub it around a bit. You recently held Banana's hind le legs as he shit on your floor. Yep. Uh, so, so what was that about? Okay, well, let me tell the story. Banana, <laughs> okay. Banana, my cat, started... We were all watching, like, a movie or something. I don't remember. And Banana was walking around the apartment like... Meow, meow, like, making making a lot of sounds. Meow. Like, the type of, like, I'm in pain. I'm like, uh-oh. I know what that means. That means he has to shit. And that means he probably is out of litter. So I went and checked his litter box. I'm like, oh... Looks like he doesn't have a lot of litter in there, and if he doesn't have a lot of litter in his litter box, he'd rather shit on the carpet than in the litter box. So I'm like, okay, banana, let me let me clean this thing out real quick. So I start cleaning his litter box. I got the other litter ready to go, and I'm like, dude, just wait a second. In 30 seconds, you come take a shit. He he meows. He walks on over next to me, and as I'm cleaning his litter box, adding new litter, he just squats on the floor, 
And I'm like, oh no, 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 no. So I grab his hind legs, hoping maybe I can position him in the litter box. And as I do that, it starts shitting. So I- It starts coming out of his asshole. Yeah, so Ryan- and You're staring at his asshole too Ryan, for some Yeah, reason. Ryan hears me going, no, 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 banana, no. And Ryan runs in and sees me holding banana's Tucker was legs there off too. the ground. Yeah, they Tucker both, and I heard you, you're just like, no, banana, no. And no, they, banana! They run no. in and see me holding his hind legs and just shitting on the carpet. And they ran and got me a paper towel, so he started shitting on a paper towel. And that's my story of my cat shitting on my carpet the other night. It was very fun. I, I would love to do it again, so Which, banana. Now Lego's the only one that hasn't shit on the carpet in the apartment. Well, the, well, he only shit on the carpet because I have a carpet in my closet, but... Well, I mean, you and I, when we first moved in, had the accident. We weren't used to the place, didn't know where the bathrooms were. Yeah, we both have shit on the carpet. But I Lego was a good say. boy. It's a little so, embarrassing, uh, but... This guy shoot fire. I should start throwing my Pikmin instead of just commanding them everywhere. Here, let's see. You, you guys pick that up. I just had the most immature thought. What? What? Just but it, just to wonder you, what your reaction would be. What? I just ran in your room when Matt. You sat up in bed a little bit, and as hard as I could, I threw one of Lego's wet shits at your face. And then I ran away. I'd be furious. <laughs> just trying to think of the like. I would be so mad. That would. <laughs> I'd be covered in shit, like on my on my sheets, on my face, all over my chest, probably. And I, like I, how would you expect me to react in that situation? Ryan, oh, gosh oh, darn it! Always getting me, dude. You're always goofing me with feces. Anyways, can I have a wet wipe? No, no can't have one. Come on, man. Oh. Oh, it's a cat collar for banana, but it's like a it's like a tie. I'm gonna, that's cute. More Legos, but not my Lego, because I had to put them down. What is this? Ooh, a little cat food. It's called pussy. It's Norwegian cat food, and it's called pussy. Squeeze a little pussy. Oh, look at that. Ooh, buddy, you want some of this? Oh shit! Did you spill it on yeah, the floor? Yeah, it's going on the floor. Eat this, it, dude. This smells awful. He'll go after your uh, fucking oh, asshole. This was a gift. It's really got everywhere. But viewer from Norway, thank you for the pussy. My fragile little boy. My sweet fragile little boy. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> banana. I'm sorry. Matt. Matt. What do I do with all of these hilarious gifts? I want to see Ryan open more mail. Here we go. Open it. Open. Woo! Is it a piece of artwork? Uh, yeah, from uh, Allison. Allison. Kraus. Oh, it's our pets, isn't Here's, it? Here's uh, one of Banana. And here's one of Lego. It's my cat, Banana. Lego. Lego just shit all over my house. He did. Ryan was going to uh, come over yesterday to watch uh, Troll 2 with me and Frank Japsy and Tucker and, and people. And then uh, Ryan didn't actually show up because uh, uh, his dog Lego uh, squirted diarrhea in almost every room of the house. So, Can we show the picture or is it too, too vile for YouTube? I mean, honestly, I've been wanting something like this, but it's for Banana. Pet him with this, or walk oh, him with this. Oh, thank you. I got a glove for my my to pet my cat with. Oh, this big one. Oh, that's all that was it. That's a. Uh, this is to Banana of Super Mega to my cat, who I unfortunately had to put down. Do you? Shit! It's, a, it's an Alexa. Is that good? What do we got? What's in store? Let me read this. Maybe I don't know. Dear Matt and Ryan, hello, my name's Sarah. I'm a 19-year-old college student from Somers, Connecticut. I've been a fan of your work since you guys started the channel two years ago. Uh, I'd plan on mailing you guys something that Matt made that Fursuit Friday tweet. I make fursuits as my own business consult... Oh. Oh. No fucking way. Was this actually made for us? No fucking way. It's, it's Lego. It's your dog. Um, we gotta try it on. I'm so excited! How do I- <laughs> Jesus. This is the pinnacle of our careers. Thank you so much. But Dude, yeah. I should show up today. <laughs> Be like, hey, Lego. No. He would shit himself all over it. <laughs> <laughs> and now, back to Arthur. <laughs>
Yo, what's up, my stupid bitches? <laughs> But then I'd have to kill you. Ah. Oh, he's coming his he's coming his briefs. Right oh <laughs> Frick! Crap's like, oh, oh damn. Wow. Oh geez. fuck yeah. He kinda looks like my cat oh, banana. Honky. Doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, when he was like doing that face. Doesn't he look like banana? Yeah. Give Cause okay, so my cat Chris, looks like banana if you shaved him bald. Which I kinda did recently. I was tired of him shedding his dumb little cat hairs everywhere. So Chris always uh Chris O'Neill, good old Oni always says oh. uh, Whoa! What well, happened to him? He's, he, uh, um, his brain face juice got sucked out of him. That's a perfect explanation. Thank you. Thank you. I worked hard on it. Chris O'Neill always says that my cat, every time he comes over, looks at my cat, he laughs at him because he says he looks deformed. And I can't, I don't know why he says he looks deformed. He says he looks weird and, like, mongoloidish. And I don't know what it is. Mongoloidish? He says it's his eye, it, like, his eyelids are, are too big or something. Hey. Hey, what are you doing in here? I said don't come in here when we're recording. Okay, guys, we'll go home, smoke some oregano, and then go get some food. We'll, we'll smoke some. I'm gonna need to smoke after this, dude. I'm so <laughs> fucking pissed. <laughs> Gotta mellow out. I do. Then cuddle with my pup and fuck him afterwards. Good stuff. They're not laughing because I'm not joking. That's what and I they know. It. It's because you always hit your dog and call it gay. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. No. You're not. I'm not gay. You are. <laughs> no, I. I when, when no one else is around, I hear Ryan call his dog gay several times a day. How do I say, how do I say it, huh? Do your I say Lego's it gay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I just sing. Ryan, like, you can't deny how much you call your dog gay, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's great, though. I love him. He's my call Lego gay, and like, we just call Banana an asshole. Because he is. Yeah, he is. He was, he you know, was... What do you got against that angry cat? Because he was really shitty when we took care of him. He, he was, in a, he was oh, just in a bad mood. Wait, you took care of him? He came in, and he... He Am I supposed to go walked that right door? up to me, he laid down. Probably thought you were me from afar, he's like, oh. And he was purring and everything, and I was oh. like, oh, maybe he's warmed up to me. And I go right in, jumps back, about to Boys. bite me, and starts wait, kissing wait. at me. Wait, <gasps> wait, what's going on? We are in the catacombs. Thanks for watching, uh, please subscribe, got more episodes on the way, let us know what you want us to draw. And Ryan's uh, sitting down to pee, and say bye, banana. Bye! <laughs> Show him his asshole. Okay. How, how <laughs> awful do you feel when you wake up sometimes in the morning? really bad yeah like, just like dehydrated. I, it's almost i just want to go back to sleep and somehow you are still able to get out of bed easier than me so i have a dog so that's true i i banana just does his thing so i don't have to take oh, him out i wish we had a backyard oh. i could just let him out like i used to just set him down uh in the halls of our apartment just set him free i could get a big grass patch make my whole closet a big Indoor grass oh, patch. Oh, that would be disgusting. <laughs> oh. You just have them poop and pee all up in there. God, no. Oh, I, I could put. To... I could get little grass tiles and cover our apartment in grass tiles. What if uh, when I'm in Japan in a few weeks, I come back and the entire apartment has just been, you you had fresh sod laid down throughout <laughs> the apartment, and the dog has just shit and pissed everywhere. You're just like, hey man, welcome back. You'd be thankful because it wouldn't have gotten on the floor. You know what? You're absolutely right. But then you tell me, get this grass out of my living room, you piece of shit. And then you would say, it's my living room too, you ass. And then you'd say, I'm going to go watch Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius, you fucking fuck it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, if you, if you covered the apartment in grass, I would probably not be too happy. Come on, bud. Speaking of last night, you know what I did? Nothing. Absolutely accurate. But what did you actually do last <laughs> night? I uh, got furious at my cat at four in the morning. Why? Why was this? So it's like uh, you know he'll be in my room, and the door will be shut, and he'll want to go out in the living room, play around, frolic, do what cats do in the middle of the night. So he'll start like, like trying to open my door with his paws, which makes a very loud sound because it like shakes the door on its hinges, and I'm like stop, and it wakes me up, uh, and I didn't get to sleep until a little later last night. Wasn't feeling too good. Go to sleep, wake up, and he's like, he's like trying to open the door. So I get up, I turn on the lights, and I'm like, Banana, get get out of there. Go, go, get. I'm, no, no. I'm, I'm real mad at him because he woke me up. I get back in bed, turn off the lights. Five seconds later, he's doing the same thing again. This went on for like 20 minutes. I kept getting up, yelling at him, throwing things across the room at him. <laughs> I'm like, Banana, stop. And I'm throwing <laughs> shit at him. Finally, I get boxes. I have some boxes in my room. I stack them against the door so we can't do that. And he just starts going up and like scratching on the boxes or like rolling around on top of the boxes, making noise. And I'm like, banana, 
So I got a broomstick and I chased him around my room a little bit, and uh, <laughs> finally he he stopped. Wait, what? At 4 a.m. you're chasing your cat around with I can't, a broomstick? I can't believe you didn't hear me, dude. I was so loud. I was fast asleep. Well, I got to bed. You, this must have happened like right when I got to bed. So I must. I think I was probably. Why did in you a, go to bed? Um, I went to bed probably around like three something. This was like so, I remember looking at my clock. It was 4:12 a.m. when when this was going on. I definitely got to bed around three something. So I was. Definitely in REM sleep while this was going on. Mm. So nothing was bothering me yeah, then. Deep REM sleep. Yeah, like REM, like my initial uh, initials. Haha. Uh-huh. Ryan. Oh, I never never realized. Like that. the band like too. The, like the band. I love I love REM. I don't so, even. What's what's a song that I would know by then? Would you believe they put a man on the moon? Man. No, I think you probably know. Uh, it's the end of the world. That's that's REM. Yeah. What? It's R.E.M. I didn't know that. They got a bunch of uh, famous ones. And, and I didn't know they did the soundtrack to Chicken out. Little. <laughs> yeah. I think Banana. Ugh. I'm, ugh. Wrong pet. I think Lego would actually like that because apparently on his thing it says he likes bananas. Like mm. when I adopted him, he says he, they said he really likes bananas. So if I, I don't know. Now that's why, bananas he, that's and why he likes my cat so much. I need to get him a Kong. I need to get him what? more toys. He always a Kong. What's a Kong? Uh, the thing, the little like poop shaped things that you stuff treats into oh yeah those but essentially he just destroys all the toys i get him so instead of giving him getting him regular dog toys i'm gonna need to get him like rope and shit yeah stuff that he can't really get the stuffing out of and all that i'm trying to figure out like what i can do to make banana so he's gotten into this habit where like he he starts meowing a lot to get because he wants to get out of my room in the middle of the night, and I don't let him out because I know that he goes and messes with your door, or like he'll knock stuff over and be loud. So I try to keep him in my room, um, but he'll like he'll want to go out, so he'll do this thing where he just tries to get my attention. He'll go like rapid fire me. Oh, out. I know, I know, like one after the other. Like when 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 you're gone and I come home, and he's like hungry or no, he just wants attention. He's like. Yeah, and it's like, please, banana, like it's, take a deep breath. Like, how do you fucking do that, bro? And he does, but he does it in a really annoying tone. He's like, yeah. It's like banana. I'll give you some love. Just shut up. And I pick him up and I throw him against a wall. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love my cat so much. I would never do such a thing. Dude, speaking of Lego, I was I was thinking about this. Do you think? So you know, dogs. Of course, they don't speak any language, but they know a very select group of words mm-hmm. that mean different things. Like, uh, man, sit. Um, food, they know food, I'm sure they know treat, yep. stuff like that. Do you think if I wanted to, like, I'm going to wait until you go out of town, and I'm just going to re-teach Lego all these words, but I'm only going to make them Minecraft words. <laughs> so, I'll be like, Steve, pickaxe, Hero Brian, creeper. So when he only knows Minecraft words. When you say Hero Brian, he just, he like sits. Hero he Brian. Scared. Sits. Why didn't you, you should you should rename Lego to Hero Brian. I'm good. You sure? Yeah. Might be pretty funny. Dude, well, speaking of dogs, like, I was on a plane recently, and you know how if you fly with a dog, sometimes, they, you know, they can put your dog under the plane if it's in a kennel? Yeah. It goes where, like, the cargo goes? Mm-hmm. Why don't they do that with babies? <laughs> Meow, that, that's right. Was that a Gatorade bottle you were using to masturbate with? No, I was sticking the Gatorade the bottle ga- down my urethra. Gatorade, 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 Gatorade. Hey, I'm Gatorade. <laughs> I'm alligator, my name's Abe. If you used... No, that wouldn't work. Cause Gatorade just gets sticky. It's it's not gonna. It's like the anti lube. Yeah, it's too watery. You can't cause you can't use water as lube. And Gatorade's like the same consistency. It's just sticky. I, I could post the video now. No, it's del- it's gone. I forgot. But the video. I was gonna post this cute video I took of Lego sleeping on my bed. He was just knocked out, just passed out. And um, I was gonna like put it on Twitter cause like, hey, look at this cute shit. Lego's fucking. Sound asleep, but then I noticed like in the background on my dresser, uh, not dresser, what is it, nightstand? Yeah. On my nightstand, there was an obvious bottle of lubricant. <laughs> <laughs> so like, uh, yeah. <laughs> but now that it's out there, I could have shared it. I just couldn't have done that with, with. You the, should, uh, you should just say it's intentional. Like just see how many people notice there's like a bottle <laughs> of lube next to your sleeping dog. <laughs> it wasn't next to my dog. It was like, he was on the edge of the bed. I, I'm not, I don't fuck my dog. I don't. Are you trying to say I fucked my dog, dude? No, I, you just said your dog. Because you just dog. said. I just. Because you just said that. I just said it that was, the lube that the lube's next to the dog, and, and it wasn't. Your next, dog was sleeping it wasn't on the bed next, in the, the nightstand. But it wasn't. 
I'm sorry. I don't. I know you don't. Yeah, I know you know because I don't. And you wouldn't be you wouldn't know that I did because I it, because I don't you No, know, I wouldn't know that you did. What are you talking about? No, you wouldn't know that I that the, you wouldn't know that I did because I don't because it's not possible for I, you to I know that I did saying, because I never did it. I wasn't saying you had sex with your dog. Well, I'm, I never I'm said saying that. I know you're you're not saying it, but you're definitely implying it. No, I'm not. Yes, you, you are. You just came up with you, that. You said, oh, there's lube s sitting next to your dog. And no, I, I, I what I was saying was you took a video of your dog and next to the bedside table, like on the bedside table was some lube. Yeah, That's but it's I, totally unrelated to my dog sleeping. I never said it was related. Not, but but you're kind of alluding to the fact no, that not. there's lubricant next to the dog and my dog's sleeping. No, I'm really not. You know, like that whole like thing where it's like, oh, I'm so sleepy after sex and in relation to, oh, he's passed out because I just fucked him losing, using the lubricant on my bed. Is that what happened? Uh, this is a slightly, uh, it's an all right, shorter podcast. This no, episode. we still, we still got to record more. We don't, we can't end it here. We, we can end it here. No, Ryan, we have to keep going. No, we don't have to. Yeah, we do. It's going to be too short. Oh, uh, we've released shorter episodes in the past. Ryan, did you fuck your dog? <laughs> I didn't. It was like, uh, I thought I was like, I thought I was dreaming. So I just went along. What? I went along with it. With the Are dream. you serious right now? And then, then, then I got a call on my cell phone, and I started talking to my mom as I was fucking my dog. And then I'm realizing, holy shit, wait a second, this is real, Ryan. And then, then, then I broke down and I prayed with my mom over the phone for God to forgive me because I know God in the Bible it says fucking a dog is a sin. So, I, I, Ryan, I can't believe you did this. It was just, it was just like a spur of the moment thing, though. So, what do you mean it was a spur of the moment thing? As I said, I thought it was a dream. So I just. But if it was a dream, why would you go along with it in your dream? Because then, then it's not in real life. Because it's just. Yeah, a dream. but if, if if you could, why'd you go along with it in your dream? You could have in your dream said no and not fuck your dog. Because in my dream, because in my dream, I can do anything and nobody's gonna judge me for it. But yeah, but why would that mind. would that would say that you were into it in the first place? Because it's like though. when when else am I gonna fuck a dog? I'm I, I'm not gonna do it in real life because that's fucked up. But you did do it in real yeah, life. Yeah, because because I thought it was a dream. Therefore, it's not fucked up. Yes, it is. If I fucked my dog thinking it was a dream, it's not fucked up. That or is, illegal. That is the debate of this week, guys. <laughs> Let us know in the comments. If you if Ryan has sex with his dog, but he thinks it's a dream, is it fucked up? Is it and fucked is it up? wrong? I'm going to go ahead and cast the first vote. I need to have sex with something, Matt. I'm going to say it is, but America's founded on different opinions. You say okay. it's not, I say it is. That's, a, that's one vote on each side, all right? Yeah. I wish we could set up phone lines like that. They'd be ringing off the hook. So bad at cleaning his asshole. Oh, banana, why? Hold on, I, I didn't look up dog bras. Oh, okay. I still have to look up dog bra. Dog bra. Dog bra. We might be sitting on a million dollar idea here. Okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, it's just it's pictures. Dogs don't look bad wearing bras. Okay. If I'm being honest. Really? Can I see? Yeah, like... I want to see dog bras. Are the tiny little bras that only cover up? Like, see, like that—that that doesn't look awful on a dog. No, like it looks like it kind of fits. Like, uh, <laughs> see, <laughs> this is a dog wearing underwear. I don't. That's and sunglasses. That's funny. Speaking of dogs, can, can I have a, a Ryan advice hour? As in, you give Ryan advice and he asks for it. I give Ryan advice, or the audience gives Ryan advice. The audience, not you. Yeah, I don't have any advice to give. Go ahead. It's about Lego. So I wanted to know, because he's been whining a lot, and usually like I'm like, shh, Lego, stop. But I read that you know giving them even negative attention is bad, and that you should ignore them at all costs when they're whining. Oh, because is, then they learn that they'll get attention if they do yeah. that. So like, is that true? Should I actually start ignoring him, even though he'll like start to whine a little louder? Do you think eventually that'll help? How do, how do I get Lego to stop being a bitch sometimes, or should I just live with it, because he's a dog? Also, um... I'm he he barks at dogs a lot when I take him out and it, and it makes it frustrating to take him out a lot of the times and I've tried a positive reinforcement treat training and all that jazz but it, he seems to get you see the food doesn't overpower the stimuli of the other dog uh, with anybody who would like to help to make walking experience with experiences with Lego uh, that much better for me and when I have to go out of town for Matt and Tucker yes if you could uh help out just dog behavioral stuff I've looked up a bunch of stuff but I'm I'm interested to see what has worked for you guys uh, I'm sure some of you work at in some 
uh, as beside vets or have vets as friends. I'm sure I'm some sure of you are just dog trainers. Yeah, some of you are dog trainers. If, if you could help out, because Lego, let me put it this way. He he's he's not like your typical dog. I know a lot of owners say that, but he <laughs> he's super anxious. He is very energetic and it's hard to calm him down, I guess. Anything yeah. to help out with that description of Lego? It's just he's just a very difficult dog to calm down and to get to just do what you need to do i was gonna say maybe he just needs like more exercise to get that out but that you can't take him to a dog park or anything yeah because he just he goes crazy yeah and he, and he barks like what if uh you should get him some like side blinders like horses <laughs> like you know, like one of those horse side blinder things but if anyone has any uh tips tricks and shits treats? treats yeah maybe some treats uh th that would be most i would really appreciate that ryan would love it he would love that advice. So, so lay it on him. Lay it on him. Like get, get get a little butter knife, get that advice. Spread it on the knife like some butter, and just spread it on Ryan like toast. You know, mm -hmm. that's what he needs. What he needs, baby. And uh, I I mean I have the same issue a little bit with banana because he'll just start meowing randomly, like like he wants something even though he has food, he has water, his litter box has fresh litter, and he'll just meow like he wants food. And uh, it's like. Please stop, Banana. You're being really loud, and he just keeps doing it. Cats are a different animal. So I, I, I ignore him most of the time, and when I ignore him, he does stop. Yeah. After like a minute, he'll stop. If I, I, I have noticed if I, if I I'm, say shut up, he'll keep doing it. I'm just wondering if I shush Lego, even though he's like, oh, I should stop. Like he stops right then. But he got your attention. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I'll be in my room and I, and I'll just hear. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny, just like hearing the silence of just like because he's a little bitch it's like just just go without being with me for five seconds well, dude you should make like a scarecrow of yourself like a, like a big life-size dummy of yourself and like don't shower for a week and rub it all over yourself so that's your scent and then just go put a chair in the little room <laughs> he's in and then just like sit take the a dummy picture of it. my face smiling and like tape cut it, it out it. see if it like works. print it out and tape it to the head of the scarecrow yeah, that's genius. <laughs> you, like, you never have to see him again. Just leave him. Just leave him in his room. Perfect. And just put uh, you just sitting in a chair. Just like, and you can get a tape recorder and record yourself being like, hi, Lego. Hello, Lego. Lego, stop that. Aha, good boy. Yeah, good boy. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy, Lego. And then just have that on loop on, a, on like a cassette tape coming out. So yeah. he'll always be happy. Or I could get one of those little cameras, put it in his little room. And uh, I can check on him while I'm working, and every now and then I'll be like, "Hey, Lego," and then he'll be like, like "What?" Monitor. He'll go. He, I think that would make him more anxious. That would drive him crazy. Because he's like, "Where is he?" What yeah. About, what about a? How about we contact Rick Moranis, get him to shrink down Lego, and then you can have just a tiny little Lego you can carry around. Honey, I accidentally shrunk our Lego. Honey, yeah. You can shrink Lego to the size of a Lego. Look at how's that. that. How's that? You can make him a little Lego house and put it nice. In. Honey, I shrunk ourselves is better than Honey, I shrunk the kids. Oh, Just I saying. I forgot about that one. I don't even. I don't remember anything about Honey, I shrunk ourselves. You don't. You don't remember the giant cockroach scene? Wait. <laughs> it's a. Uh, Where's the beat? It's a part of the big loop. See on the mini map. Oh, there's two. Oh wow, you're the last. You're there's two left. You're one of them. You need to hit one of the jails. Remember that uh little bitch in that commercial that would say, "Where's the no." Beat? Sorry, I was reminiscing about that. No, well, you didn't commercial. need to reminisce, Matt. You needed to pay fucking attention. We had a team plan. I wrote it on the whiteboard. Look. When did you do that? I, I, I just. When did you write that out? My turn to choose the map. Yeah. Is it my turn to choose the map? Yes. Is it my turn to choose the map? Nope. And that's why I'm gonna. No, 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 no! You fucking asshole! Well, I, I said yes, and you kept asking. Because I wanted to see how many times I could say something and see if I could if if I could make it sound like you just put the same clip over and over again. Well, maybe you'll learn your lesson. I'm gonna turn. Stop, it's Ryan! Stop taking. This is what you get. Stop this it. is what you get, stop. Matt. This is what you stop. fucking get. Oh, you're gonna just remember you're going out of town in like 12 hours. And and I'm gonna. Be in the apartment by myself for a week. What about? I'm gonna it? go take a shit in your bathroom and not flush it. The entire seven days you're gone. If you, every time I have to take a shit, I'm gonna go take a shit in your toilet and just keep doing it, and not flush it. If you do that, time. I'm gonna shit on your cat, and well, then he's gonna run around your room. That's my cat. That's and leave not a bunch me. of shit care. stains. I could. He already leaves shit stains. He doesn't clean himself. He doesn't clean his ass. Actually, at he's gotten all. way better about it. That was mainly more when he was a kitten. Now, now he's he's gotten better about it. In fact, I caught him licking his little rear end. So that's really that he he started doing. Like, that. was he licking the hole? Yep.
Just the crutch just like slipped and I just know like in the apartment <laughs> I'll be like I'll be sitting in bed and randomly I'll hear this. Oh! <laughs> like we're like this. Just I'll hear something like this. No no it's Banana, no It's cause he knocks shit over. It's cause but banana's a little shit that for some reason gets such joy out of knocking things over. In fact, what did he knock over in your room this week, Ryan? Oh, this could have been very painful for me. You got lucky, man. I was I was I was enjoying a glass of wine one night alone in my room and I left the wine glass on top of my dresser. My door was open and you know banana likes to go into my room. He might want to chew on some cables, but he's never done that in my room, only your room. He hasn't actually done that in a very long time. Which thank is the Lord. Good job. Yeah. So he he just likes to fuck around with things as any any cat would. So he, he decided it would be a good idea to mess with the wine glass and uh, knock it over the dresser. So it shattered on the floor. We weren't home at the time. No. By the time we got home, it was nighttime. All the lights are off in our apartment. So, you, you know, you can't see the floor, see anything. I go into my room, and to turn on the lights in my room, I have to walk across my room. Yeah. Because they're right next to my TV. And uh, I step on something, and it hurt a good bit. It started just stinging, and I was like, well... That doesn't feel nice. And so I turned on my um, flashlight, and I noticed there's, a, there's about, a f I'd say, half of the cup. Yeah. Uh, the bowl is still in place, but jagged and, like, just ready for me to fully step onto you, it. You almost stepped on, like, you would have had to go to the hospital if yes. you stepped on that fully. That would have but shredded your foot up. Luckily, I only stepped on the tiny pieces. Yeah, and also, I'm confused. Still like cut up my feet, though. I'm genuinely curious as I, I like I've dropped glasses. I've seen glasses break. Yeah. I don't know how this glass fell with such a velocity that it went like eight feet in every direction. Well, because like it's 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 compact. And when something separates, there's a release of there's an extraordinary extraordinary amount of energy that's released when something breaks like that. Yeah, but I've so dropped goes, glasses and that didn't it didn't go that far like. Like this was seriously the glass was like eight feet. This in every was also direction. not heavy glass. This was like light glass. Yeah, it, dude, it was everywhere. Yeah, tell I, me I about came it. I in your room, I was sweeping it up, and I was like, Jesus I Christ, was, dude! I was in bed, and randomly, I, I just felt like a, tss, I was like ah on my knee, and I look, and I'm like, ah, a piece of glass was in my sheets, um, and then another time I was walking through my room, and this is after I thought everything was cleaned up, and all of a sudden, tss, I'm like. Fuck! I, so I had to get tweezers and pull a little oh. shard of glass out from my toe. That's the thing about glass, man. It's see-through. So it's like, and it's so tiny. If it's everywhere, it's like, fuck, well, I'm going to be stepping on glass for a while. I hate the I hate the type of pain being cut is, that slicing. Ugh, it's awful. Yeah. So, I mean, those of you have probably had a lot of painful experiences. So besides us not playing a game correctly, put in the comments <laughs> down below what your most painful experience in your lifetime has been. <laughs> Fucking Catch it. What are you doing? Why are you just sitting there? Catch it, banana! Get the light! Banana! Catch it! On me! Can you talk like that for the rest of the playthrough? <laughs> um, he used Harden so his defense went up. Should I. I shouldn't. Uh, um. Let's just try tackle first. Yeah, I mean, I he's. You're, you're double his, his wow. level, so. Should I try water gun? Try I don't water gun that, on. I don't think that would do anything because he looks kind of metal -y. I don't know. Yeah. I, I'll try it. I'll water's try not it. that effective against grass, right? I don't think so. Uh, well, oh, wait. Water's good against bug Pokemon. Oh, yeah. So, Hudder. You ever blasted a little bug with some water? Yeah, they, they die. They drown. They do. They die right away. There's a whole Titanic incident when you pour a, wa a bottle of water on an anthill. Like, oh. It's like this big catastrophic event in all of their lives. Their lives will never be the same. Like they'll like, never get over that. Yeah. They lose children, they'll become uh, the loved press. ones. Yeah. Will Tarzan change Pokemon? Nah. No. Dude, it's crazy. Ants are unbelievably complex and cool. Think I, about that. They they have form. Have you seen a legitimate ant farm? Yeah, I have. I used to have one actually. We should get one for the apartment. <laughs> no. Why? An ant farm? Because if it because if, if if your stupid cat knocks it over, we have ants in the place. Okay, now. we'll super glue it down to the table. I just don't trust banana. That's true. I could see banana knocking that thing off and it breaks and then we come home one day and it's open and every single ant is gone. And we're like, ah, that would be terrible. Now we got ant. Ooh. It's enticing me. The problem with ants is once you get ants, dude, it's so hard to get rid of them. Yep. You can put little ant traps out and get ant poison and whatnot, but they always come back. 
they'll, they'll be gone. You'll be like, up, oh, they're gone. Problem solved. Two weeks later, you wake up one morning and there's like twice the amount that were originally there. Um, oh, just you... using mock punch. So you like you like Breloom? Breloom's pretty cool. Look at his hat. Did we not give him a nickname because that's the one that we caught for that guy? <laughs> yeah, so he doesn't have a name. Isn't there a lady we can go to who can name it? Uh, his name is Breloom now. Yeah, but can't we take it to someone who it's, will name it's it It's like naming us? a dog, dog. Yeah. It's just what it is. <laughs> this is my dog, German Shepherd. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna headbutt you, dude. Dude, I wanna get a pug and just name it Pug. Oh, that would be cute. Come here, Pug. I mean, pug, Pug's a cute name in itself. Or you can name it Mr. Pug. Mr. Pug? Or Mr. Dog. <laughs> I just want to get a dog and name it Mr. Dog. I should have named Banana Mr. Cat. That would have been the best. You and I were just... I, well, I was looking at Banana and just realizing that it's fucking... Threw up in my mouth. Oh. You alright? Yep. Can you get the tube so I can drain it out of my throat? Yeah, here you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, what was I saying? Something about Banana? Something about Banana. You were looking at Banana and realizing his like face. Like, his name's fucking Banana. I know. Like, it's actually really stupid. It's a ridiculous, goofy name for a male cat. I feel bad for him. Like, he can never be taken seriously because his name is Banana. What a, what a, what a little... Like, just You look at him and he's this... In his mind, he's this fierce wild beast. I know! He, he has such a big ego about himself. You know he does. He's, he's a cat. And then he, uh... It's funny because the only prey he actually gets in our apartment is... Uh... A little, a little bugs every now and then. No, not even that. He'll there was like one bug one time. But he, he let it get away. He'll, uh, he'll sneak into Ryan's room, and he'll grab bottle caps from, like, off the floor or in the Whoa. trash can or something. And then he'll carry the bottle caps in his mouth around the apartment. Like, he'll slink around all, uh, all pridefully, like he just killed this, this magnificent beast. But it's just a little black bottle cap. And, uh, then he'll swat him around and catch him and put him in a little hiding spot. I find, I find bottle caps from drinks that you've had in my room almost every day. Really? Yeah. Like Cause, just, he, Cause he comes and steals them from my room. And he brings them in my room. So I'll just be like, oh, there's another, cause you drink those, those Sobeys a lot. Yes. And I always well, find- Well, I used to, I don't, I don't drink them anymore. Or like, I find Gatorade, Sobe, uh, recently it's been like Diet Pepsi and, and Diet Coke bottle caps. Been finding those in my room cause he goes and he steals them and he brings them back for me. Oh, it's, dude, it's Barbard. <laughs> I hear Banana playing with a bottle cap in the other room. I'm gonna go fucking kill him. Let's go kill him. You wanna kill him? Down. I've said it a million times, man. Your fate. Hold on. Come hold on, on, Ryan. Hold on. Hold on. I knew your favorite book, The Road by Cormac McCarthy. Why don't you know mine? Because your favorite book is fucking. Um, hold on. I know it. The the box cart kids. <laughs> Dude, how did you, know? <laughs> Dude, I how did you know? know? I didn't expect you to remember. I love the box cart kids. Your favorite book. Norwegian Wood. See, the, I can't remember that because I don't know who that who who wrote it. I don't have a Haruki Murakami. I don't know who that is. He's a super famous author. He's so good. Is he as famous as fucking Tolkien, dude? He's he. What, what Tolkien has more more years behind him? Is he is he bigger than uh where the sidewalk ends, man? You don't even know his name. so He looks weird. He looks scary. Shell Silverstein. Yeah. Yeah, he does look a little weird. It's a jump scare every time you turn to the back of the like, book. I ah! know. <laughs> I'm here! Ah! He, he's at the end of the sidewalk. You get to the end of the sidewalk and he's, hey! <laughs> yeah, I love Shell Silverstein. Okay, so Norwegian Wood. Norwegian Wood. I have a hard time saying the word Norwegian. I always want to say, no, like, no, no, we, no, nor, Norwegian. Norwegian. I want to say Norwegian. Norwegian. The Norwegian. Nor, nor, the Norwegian Wood's a good book. The it's Nordic really sad. Region. Norwegian. And also my second favorite book, if not tied with Norwegian Wood, is After the Quake, also by Haruki Murakami. After the Quake. It's a collection of short stories. Yeah, I read it, the whole thing on a plane, and I was like, <laughs> it's so fucking good, dude. Yeah. I have a lot of other favorite books. I read this, I remember I read this book in high school I really liked called Half Brother, and it was about this, like, family that adopted a chimp, tried to teach it sign language, and I just remember I really liked it when I read it. It was like, I thought it was super good. I read a bunch of sad dog books. I had a phase where like, I just read books about dogs because I wanted a puppy of my own. So even though I already had a dog, I just wanted a puppy. I wanted a beagle specifically. How great would it be to like, if they had a little pill you could give a puppy and make it stay like like an Everstone or whatever in Pokemon where you can keep your puppy a puppy forever. I wish I could go back in time and see Lego as a puppy because I'll never have that experience of knowing what he looked like as a young boy. But he was cute. I bet you can get a professional Photoshopper to Photoshop him down. 
I mean, I've seen I've seen dogs that look eerily similar to him, and then I've seen their puppy pictures, and I'm like, oh, he would look so cute. Just a little ball of fur, a little blonde ball of fur, so cute. Dude, he would have been a. I know, dude. He would have been the cutest puppy ever. He'd have been such a dopey little. He, I, I have to think that he was like the runt of his litter. One hundred percent. You know what I like about German shepherds is they have that thing where, like, when they're puppies, their ears are down, yeah. and then one day they just go up, and then they don't go back down. So yeah. it's like that's like a milestone. Yep. Just like whoop. That's cute. He his ears are big. He's got some big he's got ears. Big ass ears. When dude. his ears go back, they like go up and then go down at an angle. I don't know how to explain it. It's like it's like a sharp. It looks like a like a like a pyramid. I know what you're talking about. In fact, look at this. Look at this picture today. Uh, I, I have this that's picture like when, he, when he's like guilty of something. I'm like Lego. He goes. Hoo! I love how dogs like feel guilt. And Do they like, feel guilt or is that like a misconception? Is that I don't know. It seems like they know when they've done something wrong because they, yeah. they have that look on their face and like even if you don't call them out on it, like like you can tell they've done something like, because you, they look guilty. Because there'd be times where I'd be like, what did you do? And I'd go search around and I'd find it and be like, yeah. Lego. Yep. And then like he'd be like, he'd be watching me to see if I saw it. And then as soon as I do, he'd like turn away as more like <laughs> when I looked at him. I'd be like, uh. Meanwhile, I, my cat can just shit on the floor and, and just not even care. Banana was mean to me, dude. Was he mean to you? He was mean to when me. When I was in Texas and you didn't check on him? Time. What'd he do? I don't know. He was just meowing. And I don't know it's, if it's because like he misses the fat Ryan. He doesn't recognize you anymore. The f- he's yeah. like he's like that. He's like that. He's the opposite of that YouTube commenter that was like, "I miss the old skinny Ryan." <laughs> yeah. Banana misses the old fat Ryan. By the way, look at this picture of Lego. This is a year ago today. That's a good picture. It's we put sunglasses on Ryan's dog and he looks all goofy. It's a wow, great that's picture. A lot of hair. Ryan, you should put this in. You should put this in the podcast so people can see it right now send on screen. To, send it to me. Here it is, everyone. Take a look at Ryan's do- doofy dog with some sunglasses on. Lego is such a good pup. He's a, he's, a, he's a good dog. Love him to death. He keeps a... Uh, doesn't he keep breaking your uh, screen door, though? Twice so far, yes. He just runs straight through it? Yeah, but also, that's, <laughs> it's, like, partially my fault, because I should... Knowing Lego and knowing, like, dogs in general, like, dogs are going to be like, wait, you have to wait for the screen door? Yeah, but a dog's not going to know what a screen door is, especially yeah. if their vision you can't really and, see and it that well. And he's ready to just bolt out of there and go to the restroom and shit. And it's just, like... So part it's partly my fault, but I do get severely pissed off whenever he does it, and I'm trying to not not forget, dude. To, what? There's nothing funnier to me than when a a child runs full speed into a sliding glass door. <laughs> it's so funny. Dung. Just boom, and then they like fall back, and they're just like, <gasps> like their whole like the reality is so like, what is going on? You can see the look on their face, like their brain is trying to process what just happened. They're like. Because like that, that's such a. I've done that before. Run yeah. into a glass door. I need, my friend did that and ran straight through it. <laughs> you don't need to share with everyone that you have a foot fetish. That like, it's Quentin Tarantino does it a good bit. Quentin Tarantino does definitely. I love that picture of him where he's like looking at the camera and it's clearly like a flash photograph taken, <laughs> and he looks a little like, uh, like caught in the headlights and he's sucking a woman's toes. <laughs> what? Have you not seen that picture? He's sucking someone's yeah, toes. Yeah, he's sucking. I okay. What? Let me Google this right now. It's a picture of Quentin Tarantino and he's it, sucking some woman's toes. Why? Because he has a foot fetish. Like I don't out know. in public or something? I think It looks like he's at a party. Quentin, Taryn, you might have to put this one on screen. Okay. Sucking toes. Dude, I forgot to put an image up on the podcast. I think oh. it was of Lego. or I can't remember what it was, but people were... S- that was a, that was a that was the comment section. I, I let them down. You fucked up, Ryan. I know I fucked you up. You fucked up, And dude. they still haven't seen that photo. Oh, well. It's a good photo. Here's Quentin Tarantino sucking toes. One guy tried to stop me to sell me something, and I and I just said, I said, no, thank you. And he she goes, said, yes, please, yes, please. He goes, stupid fucking white boy. Wait, I was really? Like, yeah. And the, you guys got real aggressive with me. I was he like, said that to me. I'd grab him by his legs, spin him around, and fling him to the mountains. And, he, and then he would fly into the sky and go, ding. Yep. Like the little, <laughs> that, that would happen. I wish that happened in real life. Like, if he threw someone <laughs> like, or something far enough, he'll go, ding, ding. How does Team Rocket survive? Because at that velocity and that height that they go, they're landing. They're being skinned alive and 
crushed by the ground. Oh, absolutely. Like on impact. Absolutely. I do not understand how they keep surviving and showing up. Whenever they show up, I'm like, I thought they killed them last time. Dude, they must have they incredible get, health insurance. They get electrocuted all the fucking time. They get drowned sometimes. They're they're always they're always falling from high heights and shit. Like those guys, I'm serious. Whatever health insurance plan they're on, sign me up because they get the best like surgery, the best they they I, how do they do it? I don't know, but they have two they have they have a cat that talks and a cat that purrs, a nice big old cat that the boss pets, and he's like, I'm big bad guy, and I look like big bad guy <laughs> in blue suit with short brown hair, and I look very boring. I'm not a good bad guy. Ha 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 ha. That's what he says. I loved when he said that in the episode. <laughs> yeah. It was really, really there's, good. There's a lot building. of character building for him in that episode. Like, yeah. Ha ha. I might have a family. <laughs> or I might not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish my cat spoke, um, and I'm sure if he did, it would just be nothing but vulgarities towards just me. Just fuck you, fuck you. You, you, like to wake you up, you like you hear meow, meow, but like in reality, it's just fuck you, fuck I you. Feel like that's what oh, what he's you're saying. awake now, fuck you. I, that's probably what he's saying. He's like, hey, let me outside to take a shit. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, everything. Hey, my my food's a little low, fucker. Like that's just the vibe I get from my cat. Just like you walk in. Oh, fuck. Okay, hold on. Let me have some fun real quick. Okay, never mind. Fuck you. He, uh, uh last night he woke me up at about 4 a.m. Because he... Was he doing a handstand? No, I, oh. th- that, that would be something else. If I woke up and saw my cat doing a handstand, I'd have to take a picture of that real quick. Spinning but... plates on his feet? Dude, that would be fucking unreal. Because... Would, that, would that make up for everything he's done Everything, in the past? yeah. I'd be like, yes! <laughs> and I'd, I'd also be baffled, like, how did he open up my cupboard and get the plates out, first of all? And, and second of all, how is he spinning them on his feet like this? Who taught him that? Has he been able to do this since he was a kitten? Like, has he just never shown me? Does he exclusively do it in the middle of the night when I'm asleep because he doesn't want me to know about this talent? He's been practicing when, when, you, when you're gone for work. That's all he does. That explains why I found a broken dish the other day in my kitchen. Mm. Spit it out. <laughs> oh, God. A whole fucking hamster? That's, that's disgusting. Oh, this one's dead, though. He woke me up last night because he does this thing. He woke you up the night before, too. He, he does, but he, he wakes me up almost every night where he decides at like 3 or 4 a.m. He's like, you know what? I'm going to run laps around this place as fast as I can. So he'll go. Why don't you close your room door? Oh, does he jiggle your door? If I close, if I shut any, if I, if I shut off any room, he will bump up against the door and just meow and meow and scratch on it. And I don't want him to scratch, like leave scratch marks on the door. Yeah. Um. So I got to get, I got to get his, I got his dumb little nails clipped. I got his dumb little head cut off. <sighs> Taking him, I'm going to get him groomed. I just have him cut off his head. Mm. I gotta get him sedatives, because every time I take him to, like, the vet or something, he just... I need to groom Lego, get that fucking fur out, because he's, he's shedding like a beast. It's shedding hard. It's, it's, it's shedding season, it man. It is shedding season. My, my cat's shedding real bad. All of my, my nice couch, he's just get, getting hair all over it, and I'm like, ah, I gotta get my lint roller out and roll the couch. And I can then see the hair on his butt. It's like, this is old fur. You need to, you need to brush me out. He's saying, please, Ryan, brush me, buddy. This, this, this old fur is all itchy. I gotta take him somewhere. He just doesn't like, uh... One thing he does not like is, uh... Being dried with a machine, I can only towel dry him because he is scared of the. Vacuum oh yeah, thing. he's like. I, I bathed him once, and I remember I tried to I tried to blow dry him. Uh, I think you were out of town, and I gave him a bath, and I tried to blow dry him, and he like, like it, it, it was like opening up the the floodgates at D Day. Yeah. Just, and he oh, like yeah. exploded away from me. He like does he was not, terrified of the blow dryer. He does not like it. I have to towel dry him and let him, uh, when I take him some places to get groomed, I'm like, yeah, just towel dry and then let him run around and dry off normally. The voice is shaking really bad. I can't, dude. <laughs> it's, Sh- no, it's just from that. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not crying thinking of my dog. It's because, <laughs> it's because I shake my foot a shit ton, like very violently. <laughs> so, so it's the difference between my voice doing, wait, it's the difference between my voice doing this kind of like without shaking my leg and then I'll add my leg in and then you can kind of hear my, my voice start to shake a little bit. It sounds like you're like on the verge of tears. Like, <laughs> um, uh, um, uh, or you're like, so Lego doesn't like the fucking dryer. Or like you, you were like at a police scene. And, and like you have the blanket wrapped around you. Like, um, <laughs> <laughs> it just happened so fast. Uh... It was never had a plum. So you, I, I left one. plums at your house, right? Did you eat them? Probably no. Nope. Plums are great. I love plums. Probably yeah. all rotten and gross. Plums are my favorite. Where'd you fruit. leave the plums? 
I don't know. I have they're not somewhere. noticed any plums in my house. They're somewhere around your house. Shit, you have dude, to they're find somewhere them. in your house. You better find fridge. those. You they're, gotta look. They're probably in my fridge. He probably like he's probably like a fucking wild animal and like buried them somewhere <laughs> in my yard <laughs> under your dirty clothes, <laughs> like to keep. Legos someone just else gonna be like them. digging somewhere and he's like, "What's wrong, Lego?" And he's like, "I gotta find the plums." And then I then then, then he's Ooh. dead. I reach into his throat and pull out a plum. Yeah. I'd be very sad if that happened, Tucker. What if Please Lego don't. died because I put plums in your backyard and he choked on them when he dug them up? That would be a very fucking unfortunate incident, yes. I would say. How What would happen to your friendship? It would I'd be, be stronger, very fucking mad. Bro. I'd be just, it just... I just... <laughs> I wouldn't stop being friends with you, but I'd definitely be pissed and hold it over you for the rest be of our rift. friendship. There'd be a rift. You would, you would not... have to do... You'd have to cause some kind of trauma to him with a plum. Because you killed mm. my friend. Lego's like... My roommate. Yeah, but it wasn't that my I, fault. That I have complete control. It wasn't over. my fault. It, Ryan, you would have to cause some plums, some Ryan. plum related incident in his life that would fuck him up to make it even. You could kill his parents with some plums. You could get his dad to sure. choke on a plum. You could poison the plums and feed them to my parents. That's too. You could if you wanted. So you didn't mean to kill the dog with the plums. So he's no. gonna have to do something if it's like. Yeah, but the thing here's the thing, Matt. If he does anything at all related to plums, it's already pre- premeditated. It's not like because I was just burying the plums because I, you know, that's what I do. Be, well, I bury plums, he'll do. He'll do things where he can, can still be arrested for negligence. Like if you if if you're holding a gun, going ooh, oh, I didn't mean to kill anyone. Yeah, you still killed someone. Tucker, you you still go- killed my dog with your negligence of burying plums in my yeah, backyard. Yeah, but I didn't mean to. I hear a dog barking. It's fine. It's just maybe. It's Layton's dog. Layton's dumb little stinky pooch is at the office today. And here we are trying to record a podcast. And what's going on? That dog is just the barking. Dog's yapping it up. Not just even yap, caring. Yap, yap. Not even trying to show us a little fucking damn respect. You know, little dogs, like little dog syndrome, that's a real thing, man. They were, were like little dogs think that they are like the toughest shit. Well, that's, it's just like, stop. It's like, just stop doing. I'll just kick you away. Get, get out of here. Like, I wouldn't mess with someone twice my size. Why? How do they have such, like, courage to do that? Like, the dog will be the size of a tea kettle, and will be, like, yapping at a beast, like, 20 times its size. Wouldn't that go against them, like, evolutionarily? Their... Maybe that's the, I mean, maybe it is the exact opposite into where it's, like, if they were just shrimpy little scaredy cats the whole time, they would be prey more often. But maybe other dogs, when they see it barking, it's like, what the fuck is going on here? Oh, yeah, that's true. Does it know something I don't? And they're like, oh, shit, I'm not going to fuck with this small chihuahua that's yapping at me. <laughs> But they're, it's just, they're just little yaps. They're like annoying little yaps. Well, Lego's got an annoying bark, too. It's very sharp. Oh, very it, it hurts piercing. the ears. Very piercing. It's like a dagger that's being thrown into my ear. I don't mind a bark where it's like uh, like, a, like a Labrador's. Yeah, like yeah. A, <laughs> those sharp barks and yaps, those are almost getting frustrating. The boop. Oh, it's, like, yeah. ah. it's like, stop. D- does Lego ever bark and it just makes you like jump? Yeah. Well, like during the night, if my neighbors come home late at night, and decide to be loud in their driveway because they're dumb idiots. <gasps> um, hot take. You should fight your neighbors, dude. Like, you'll hear Lego, he'll just be like... <laughs> oh, I remember that. I remember when we lived <laughs> together, he would do that. Like, if you were out of town. Yeah. And I was in the kitchen, like, making cereal, I'd just hear... <laughs> 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 yep. <laughs> it's, it's like, like him, It's he's not committing to a bark. Yeah. It's just him kind of, like... Testing something's the waters. Up. Something's up. He's, di- he's dipping his feet in the waters of, like, should I do a full bark? Like, mm, He's maybe. making it's himself like, <laughs> known. <laughs> I'm here, I'm here, I'm like, yes, Lego, and I'm pouring myself a bowl of Honey Nut Cheerios. <laughs> you want some? You'd see him stick his head out from, like, the closet area to peer at you. In the oh, man, that was room. cute. When I Sometimes I just walk by, and I just see him, like, look at, sticking his head out the closet, just, like, staring at me. I'm like, hey, buddy, <laughs> man, I miss Lego. I haven't seen him in so long. You'll see him uh, tonight. Yeah, because he's coming over for hot dogs. Yeah. People are like, hot dogs again? No, we just recorded these two podcasts on the same day. Yeah. So, Or we could just say that the lore is, I go over to your place... Every single day for hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, I just grill up some hot dogs every, every day. day. Every I come fucking over for day. hot dogs. I'm gonna I'm gonna head home a bit early so I can um, clean get up grilling. my place. Dude, of course, clean up my place. Get some nice ingredients for those hot dogs. Man, I gotta I gotta clean up. I gotta do a deep clean of my place because it's been messy and I'll show uh, you I have a deep clean. Dude, what the hell? Anyways, I'm about to have six guys staying at my place. It's gonna be a sausage fest. Can I come? Yeah, of course. Can I come stay? If you can want, I go come and stay too. That might be a little too much. What? I'll have a cat, a big a big dog with a lot of energy, and then seven other guys in my place. Banana and Lego got along. They did. B- okay, something that I noticed. Banana, even though he would swat at Lego, never hissed. Mm-mm. 
or yeah, maybe, fun with them. Maybe rarely hissed. I ne- I I personally never saw banana hiss. At I Lego. saw I saw it like twice. Yeah. Because because I, I think Lego would like bite him a little too hard when they'd yeah. be playing, and then banana would be like, "Hey, not cool." But they were playing. You know, it, it made banana had some some active thing yeah. to keep there, and then Lego Lego just always looked like he was just. Just like, <laughs> and, banana, and banana was like, I'm a kitch, I'm a kitch. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. Well, that was funny watching them play like that. Um, I remember like, like, like they'd so my cat and Ryan's dog would like kind of like play with each other and they'd wrestle and they'd have a good but Lego time. Lego would stick banana's whole head in his, his mouth, his entire head would end up in his mouth, and Lego would just sit there with his head in his mouth. <laughs> yeah. and banana just wouldn't give a shit, he'd, banana's he'd, just like chilling. But I, I remember, uh, I remember like sometimes Banana would come in my room and his whole head would just be like wet and all of his <laughs> fur would be sticking up on his head because it was all like wet because Lego would lick his head. Not as bad as Chica. Oh my God. Yeah. When we lived with Mark, Chica would just like go up and just like lick Banana's head <laughs> and it would like mat his fur so it would get all hard. So like even when like it dried off, it was just disgusting. Yeah. Like, like, you know, when a dog chews on like a stuffed animal and then its fur gets all like matted and crunchy. That's what happened to Banana's head. Like, the fur on his head would get like that. I got Lego a new stuffed animal. Ooh! Yeah, it's a shark. It's a Ooh. bright blue shark. I'll have to see and it It's today. very tough. Because I have to get my boy some tough toys. Because he true, he- Even, like, the toughest shit I can find, he'll find a way to chew through it and rip it apart within a week. Yeah. Yeah, that's, he's got that, like, wolf yeah. instinct to just, like, rip things apart. Every time I take him to a groomer's, they're like, Are you sure he's not part wolf? <laughs> and I'm like, ha, no, I um, I'm no, taking Nan to the groomers on Monday to get him a little lion shave. Are you sure it's gonna happen? Because okay, like, every groomer you go to is like, he's too much. So I took him to this one groomer and they groomed him. And I, I don't took him, like him. I took him back and they're like, he's, sorry, I don't feel comfortable grooming him. He's too mean. And I'm like, okay. And she's like, well, it's only because there's one person here. My so, thing is like, cats are always. No I know. Cat likes to be fucking groomed. What cat's place? just gonna let you hold it down and groom it? Like, cats aren't like dogs. Like, cats are going to be assholes. So, I take Banana to this groomer's place. Well, okay, let me start from the beginning. I take him in, they groom him, um, and uh, they don't do a very good job. He's like, yeah, sorry, his haircut might look bad. Anyway, it's going to be this much. <laughs> and I was like, and they're also like, oh, yeah, and we clipped his, uh, I told him to clip his nails and put, like, the little soft caps on so he yeah. can't scratch my furniture. I'm like, yeah, sorry, and if they fall out, they were hard to put on. Anyway, that'll be $300 or something like that. And I was like, what? So, for some reason, I still went back. And they scheduled me on the wrong day. So I come in, and they're like, sorry, man, we put you on the wrong day. I'm so sorry. So I got to take Banana home. And putting Banana into a carrier and driving him to Burbank. How do you put him in a carrier? What is that What is that like? It is not easy. It sucks. It is not easy at all. So doing that is like an, a whole ordeal. Do you have to, so, like, throw something in there so he goes and chases mm-mm. it? No, I have to, like, put the carrier kind of, like, facing upright. And then I kind of have to, like, bundle him up so, like, he can't. Because when I try to put him in, it'll s- spread his legs out so he won't go in. Yeah. So I have to kind of, like, bundle his legs up so I can kind of slip him in. Um, but I bring him back the next time. They call me back, and they're like, sorry, our other groomer went home. We were going to save him for the end, and now uh, I can't do it by myself. And I was like, <laughs> okay. So I go, and I pick him up. Bring him back again. Sorry, the other person didn't show up, so you got to come pick him up. Had to drive back, pick him up. All right, so that's the third time. Yeah. I bring him back again. Sorry, I don't feel comfortable grooming him. He's a little too mean. You're going to need to get sedatives from the vet. So I'm pissed off, but I'm like... So you go to the vet. I go to the vet, which I have to take him to. So I'm having to drag him back and forth all these places, and he doesn't like that. He freaks out. He hisses and gets mad. I get him sedatives from the vet. I give him the sedatives one morning. I schedule another appointment. And every time I have to schedule a reappointment, like, or every time I have to reschedule an appointment, it's not like the next day. It's like two weeks later that they can take me. I bring him back on sedatives. I get a call, sorry, he's just, uh, I can't do it. And I'm like, okay, fuck you. I brought him in five times. You guys suck. <laughs> so I call another grooming place yesterday to schedule him. Like, hey, so I went to this other place and they're like, yeah, people come here all the time saying that place just won't groom their cats. We'll take any cat. And I was like, really? And he's like, yeah, like, I don't want to shit talk that place, but they just don't really want to I mean, do. Do you want to, do you want to name them? I don't want to name drop them. Okay. They're pretty shitty, but I, I, I don't, I don't, I feel kind of bad name Might as dropping. Well keep like shitty a, businesses thriving. Yeah. Well, I, I just feel, I don't want to, may, maybe they just have a shitty employee. I don't know. I, I feel bad. Like, I think after five them. times is the, is where you can go. You know what? Maybe they're, it's they're not in, just the employee. They're, it's a, it's a, it's a place in Burbank. I'll say that. Okay. They're in Burbank. And I'll let other people deduct whatever they want. Um, I'm just get, always scared people are going to like witch hunt and like leave a yeah, trillion bad Yelp reviews yeah. and like ruin some poor guy's business that didn't even know this was going on. Jump, run and oh, jump I'm over fine. that part. Yeah. That's right, brother. That's right, my brother. We are Ryan. 
We're like the Super Mario Brothers. Matt Watson and Ryan McGee from Super Mega. <laughs> Look at me go. What? Sorry, I just really wanted to put on that eight ball shirt. I forgot we got that. Can we not? Can we not see if there's? I want to sell the regal bed. There's dainty there. paper. I don't need any paper. I'll uh. Well, I'll keep this so I can. It's send cool my neon paper. In. Yeah. What's this? Danger shirt. Oh, we'll try that on. So let's sell these bad boys. Let's see. Uh, I'll sell. I know Ryan. You have to get home in a second. I'm trying to go as fast as I can right now. I promise. Oh, it's fine, dude. Let me uh. Grab some bells. I just, I just gotta get home in time because the priest said that if I don't sprinkle yeah, the yeah, water yep. down in the yard, then Lego Soul could return, and I don't want to have to put him yes. down a third time. Yep. That's the same guy you, you recommended me, where I gotta do the same thing where at 6.42 p.m. every night, you sprinkle the water. Yeah. Uh, so the but like, I, I, I don't have any more water left, so I have to go, so I have to go climb the mountain. Oh, shit. That's a... To the spring. Yeah, that's, that takes time. Okay, well, I'll finish this up as fast as I can. I also lost my plastic chalice that he gave us. So I'm gonna have to search for that too. That's why I have to leave early. Oh, okay, that's that's big. You have the crystals still? Yes. Okay. I have the crystals, I just need to find the plastic chalice so I can take the chalice up to the mountain to get the water, you know, the whole deal, yada, Dude, yada, yada. Dude, careful with those crystals because, so no shit, I'm not kidding. Basically, I left them on my counter overnight the yeah. next morning, probably in a three foot radius around it was just charred black. Um, so be very careful with where you put the crystals. You gotta okay, keep them in where, the little bag like, he gave you. They, they don't come with a fucking user manual or anything. So like that's the, the priest should tell you everything you need to know. I oh, did he not go into that much detail? No, I was I was texting a little bit while he was going over. That's like, serious some of the shit. Details. I know, I, I know, I, I know. Have to I know, get I know. my counters resurfaced, and it's really fucking expensive. Okay, well, it, got, it burned some of the floor too. Anyways, it was free. The weird thing was on the burn, it was freezing cold. It was not hot. It was almost like uh, like burned by ice. Well, the priest actually, um, I remember he was talking about at some point during the conversation, he was talking about like Dante and actually how, wow, that is a, you know, fictional story. How it is actually very true to how the real hell is, is sectioned off and works. No, so the cold actually makes he knew, sense. No, because he basically, they're from the same descendant, Dante and the priest. Yeah. Wait, no fucking way. Yeah. Oh, did you, did you were you texting probably when you yeah, that? Yeah, he, yeah, He makes sure he tells everyone that. And it's like, basically, it's passed down through his family because they have something about them where they're able to enter hell and come back. Um, so everyone in the family has done it. It's like a rite of passage Ooh. into the priesthood. Um, so he would know what hell it's like. And, you know, Dante had to do the same, so. All right, well, that is all the time I got for this Animal Crossing episode. Um, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. So I need to go replace the antenna at the far end of the rooftops. Well, I'm gonna shit myself. Don't do that, dude. The person dude. I was planning to look after Lego for the tour... What happened? ...said... ...too busy this week. Uh-oh. That's fine. That's fine. Did they already agree to watch Lego? I mean, they... Yes. And then they said, too busy? Yes. When I was trying to say, let's meet my dog. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's fine, I'll just, uh, I'll... I'll I'll just simply just, find someone else that has that has two weeks of free time. Just set him free, dude. <laughs> just let him run for a so few we're weeks. Might gonna have to, we're just gonna have to cancel the tour. Yeah, sorry guys. This, I mean, this is this is a long ass tour. Right. We're gonna we're gonna be busy up until the beginning of June. I know someone I need to contact. Maybe we'll solve this on the episode. The episode where Ryan tries to get a dog sitter, a desperately get a dog sitter. I told you, just set him free, dude. He's a pooch. He loves roaming around. He'll come back. He loves you. He will come back to your place. Who will? Lego. Oh. <laughs> oh no, sweet. Oh. Recently? No, it was in like, wasn't that the I first mean, or second season? Well, well, wasn't the dog fighting stuff a long one. time ago? Yeah. Yeah, so they had him in after the dog fighting already, stuff? Okay? Just get over it. It's just animal abuse. And besides, those dogs have nothing on Lego. I see how Matt, I mean, how Ryan trains his dog. Yeah, yeah. Lego, we gotta get Lego in a dog fight. Lego, Lego could take on any dog. Honestly, yeah. Lego could kill a human. He I mean, has. if he yeah. wanted to. Do you think Lego could kill you if he tried, like, his hardest? I love it. Like, we can't find Ryan. It's because Lego killed him and buried him. The only thing that gets me upset, though, <laughs> about Lego is when Ryan's walking Lego and he barks at certain people sometimes. It's like, Ryan. Well, he trained him to do that. <laughs> it's, well, I mean, he has to recognize dangerous looking people. <laughs> what? You're talking about uh, members of the IDF, right? Yes. Yes. After the RIA. Whenever an earthquake has happened, I was people were like, "Did you feel that?" I'm like, "Maybe I felt something." But this is the first earthquake where I'm like, "This is an earthquake." 
because I I remember it woke me up because I had my eyes closed and you know when you're not fully awake yet you kind of just let your eyes still be closed and yeah not, to not let light in all of a sudden I feel my bed kind of rocking a little I'm like ah oh, Legos getting into getting into bed and uh, so it goes on for like ten to twenty seconds I'm like. Ugh. This boy's taking a long time, I guess. I open my eyes. He's not on the bed. He's in the hallway doing his little, like, tail between the legs. Like, ooh, look at me. I'm like, <laughs> what? And all of a sudden, I hear, tch, tch, tch. I look over. My blinds are shaking. Minecraft Steve is smacking the wall <laughs> yeah. with his And then I hear, tss. I'm like, ah! <laughs> but, uh, but my blinds are hitting the window and the wall till sweat drops. Yeah, I was about it. to do it. You got it. Um... And I also look out, and in kind of like the living room area, uh, I see my light fixture swinging. And that's the moment where I'm like, this is an earthquake. And it was that moment where I'm like, wait, should I get up and go outside? But I was like, I was so confused and disoriented because I was still kind of like waking up. So I was in that kind of dreamish state, like that yeah, mo- foggy yeah, yeah. state. And so things were just shaking, and then eventually it stopped. But that's another instance where my ceiling could have crashed down on me, and I should have... I should have gotten out of the house and taken yeah, Lego with me. What are you supposed me. to do? You're supposed to get under something or get in a doorway, right? I should have gotten out of my place and brought Lego with me. Should have put him on your back and, and ran down the street. You're supposed to like get under something or get in a doorway. I think if right? you're if you're inside, you want and you can't get outside. You want to get under a table. But if you have the opportunity to go outside and there are no trees, I'd imagine you like go out into your front lawn or something. <laughs>